Where you going at next, Adam? Uh, let's go to now. Since we got what that understanding is, of, it was about the doctors. Now let's go to what he was saying in Malachi, because everybody likes to run to Malachi mm -hmm. to say that God hates the white man. <laughs> 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 so now we got the understanding of what true what was going on. All right. So it is the burden of the war word. It's the precept of burden, by the way. Yeah. Burden means word. Okay. So y'all know burden. When you see burden, it means word. The burden right. of the word to to Israel by Malachi. That's his right. doctrine. This Malachi doctrine that he wrote. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse two, I have loved you. So like I said before, mm -hmm. I have loved you. If I tell anybody, you need to go to your eyes, I, I loved you. Does that mean I love you now, presently? No. 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 Does not. Used to. Used to. But I know. Right. Read. <laughs> I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet, ye say, <laughs> wherein has thou loved us? See? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob mm -hmm. uh -huh. and hated Esau. I know you guys went to school. ED is past tense. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that means it's not currently. Mm -mm. You know yes. I hated you, brother. That means I don't. I have love for you now. Y'all don't even know how to read. That's sad. This is elementary. Mm -hmm. It's sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, keep going. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste. All right, let's deal with the mountains. So it's hey, mountains. Hey, Elder. Yes, sir. Let me let me um, bring up one. Mm -hmm. Go back to two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Read that again. I have loved you. Uh huh. Saith the Lord. Uh huh. I have loved you. Read. Mm -hmm. You don't have no excuses. Read. Mm -hmm. Right. Yet ye say, wherein hath thou loved us? <laughs> I gave this covenant to you. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? I know you're catching hell. You think I don't love you, but I have loved you. Read. Mm -hmm. was I could have I could have given it to Esau. Mm -hmm. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Mm -hmm. I could have gave it to Esau. He said, mm -hmm. I, "And Isaac, thy name shall be called." Mm -hmm. Read. Saith the Lord. Yet I loved. Jacob. Love. Go to Hosea one, uh, 11 and 1. Where you going at, Elder? No, I got you. Get your word. We okay. We're going Hosea. right on this is, Jerusalem. this is Jerusalem. You can yep. go however you want. Jerusalem yep. free, baby. It's free, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, he said, I have love Jacob. Yes. Read. Hosea 11 1. When Israel was a child. Stop. When Israel was a child, stop right there. And we're going to come right back here. Go to John <laughs> chapter 8, verse 39. When you was a child. John chapter 8, verse 39. Now he's talking to one of Abraham's children, one of Jacob's carnal seed children. Read. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Mm -hmm. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, you would ye would do the works of Abraham. Read. Verse 40. But now ye seek to kill me. Mm -hmm. A man who hath told you the truth. Mm-hmm which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham. Mm-hmm. Read. Now, this is one of Abraham's carnal seed. He's saying, if you were his child, you'd do the works. Read. 
ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even mm-hmm. God. Great. Jesus said unto them, if God were your father, if, 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 you will honor your father, honor thy father and thy mother. Read. Ye would love me. You would keep my commandments. John 14, 15. John 1, 5, and 3. Read. For I proceeded forth and came. First John 5 and 3. I'm sorry. Mm, read, Dale. I'm sorry. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Now he said, you're not one of God's children. Now go back to Hosea 11 and 1, because that's what he's saying. You're not one of God's children. Even though you were born the carnal seed of Abraham. Now read that. Hosea 11 and 1. When Israel was a child. When Israel did what I told them to do and followed me. Read. Then I loved him. And he was my child. Read. Mm. And called my son out of Egypt. Out of bondage. Out of that carnal uh, foolishness y'all into. They think God is gullible. (laughs) They think God is gullible. He said, then... But you can go. You can go on. Uh, read that, L, because because we got to read that. That's who they are right there. Right. Verse two. As they called them, so they went from them. They sacrificed unto Balaam and burned incense to graven images. That's what they doing now. Remember, I told y'all about Baal, Belium, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Belipar. That's yep. them. Yep. They're but, following that, that them wicked leaders over yes. there. Yes. Go ahead, lies. Elder. I'll yeah. be back. That you, Elder. Can you hand Yes, sir. Go ahead. Verse uh, three. Mm-hmm. Get to there we go. <laughs> Verse three. Now, this is going to be a heavy part. This is the part that we're going we gonna to separate the men from the boys. The prophet from the, <laughs> the spiritual from the carnal, <laughs> I know and the grown right. and the grown people from the kids. It's what we gonna do right here, and All we right? don't care now. Y'all got to understand. Either <laughs> y'all gonna hear it or y'all gonna forbear it. Yes, this is what the Most High told us to teach. If this ain't for you, it might be time for you to move on. But we gonna give you these <laughs> precepts. That's it. You gonna All get right. this weapon. You gonna get this rod. <laughs> so I'm to it now. You gonna get this word of God, whether or not you like. <laughs> All right. Put your knuckles out. Put your knuckles. <laughs> this is where this is a stronghold that a lot of people get caught at. Yeah. Right. So we, if you understand verse three, because what we brought down, you should automatically when you're looking at this right now, you should automatically know what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. But since you still might be fighting it, because Paul said he died daily, and I understand. Mm-hmm. This is why we're here mm-hmm. to teach you. So you're probably watching this right now, like, man, your mind is blown. I know, I know. It happens. All praise to the most high. Mm-hmm. But we're gonna I'll get this verse. We're gonna see what he's talking about right here. Verse three. And I hated Esau mm-hmm. and laid his mountain. Stop. Let's get his mountains. What is a mountain? We gonna break it down slowly for the people at home. Yes, Uh-oh. it is. We gonna. That's what's it, it, it What's a prophet? A congregation. Let's get that. Let's back up. What we saying? Let's get two precepts. Well, y'all better on back that. up. Yep. <laughs> prophet that speaks. Yeah, I know that's right. That's it. Yeah. Let's get that. It's your, it's your, it's your congregation. It's God's congregation. Let's get it. Whatever well, congregation of a congregation. A mountain is a congregation. All right. Yeah. Micah four and one. But in the last days, it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains. So the mountain of the Lord is his congregation. Mm-hmm. Read. 
and it shall be exalted above the hills. So it's exalted above those other congregations. And people shall flow unto it. You can't put people in the mountain. He's talking about a congregation. Yes. Mm -hmm. A church. That's what a mountain is. Yeah, All right. right. Let's, let's get my second one. We're going to go to Joel 318. You got to get two precepts to establish the cause. Mm -hmm. Trying to help Elder out so he ain't got to keep doing the research. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joel 3 18 and it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down new wine I don't know anybody currently that's seen a volcano erupt wine <laughs> Never. <laughs> hey, that's a very good point a lot of people would like that hey, though <laughs> I'm telling you Especially the people that like that ripple. <laughs> it's raining ripple out there. Man. Look, look. It's raining wild out there. It's bucket out there. <laughs> <laughs> and the hills shall flow with milk. Oh, same thing. We never seen it. I thought milks come from animals or cows. Yes. <laughs> so these we talk about new doctrine. The mountain shall uh, drop down new wine. It's going to be a new doctrine. Yes. yes. And the hill shall flow with milk. Milk is the word. Mm -hmm. And all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters. Water is the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord mm -hmm. and shall water the valley of Shittim. So it's going to the the the, water, the word of God is going to flood the earth. That's what it's basically saying. So the mountain, yes. the point of this was the mountains. The mountains is the congregation. So there's going to be a mm -hmm. congregation that comes out and drop down new wine. Now you can mm -hmm. go here in this wilderness of sin and see who what congregation is dropping down new wine that you never heard before. Yes, mm -hmm. I'll wait. Exactly. EOI. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Look at that. You know what I'm saying? So now we go back. Yes. To this, he said he laid down his mountains and his heritage. Stop. Let's get the precept for heritage. What mm -hmm. is a heritage? So we're gonna break it down. So well, like you I know said, the heritage, that's your bloodline, see? Oh, is it? Is your bloodline? You know, um, you know, <laughs> you got Abraham, he started off, and then you know he had Isaac, you know, mm -hmm. and then he had Jacob. His name was changed to Israel, and every person who mm -hmm. descend carnally from that man has an opportunity at salvation. Uh-oh, look out. Oh, Prophet Joshua, yes, you're right. He said, I ain't gonna yep, wait. Yep. Let me tell you what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Sirach 1711, please read in the week. Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 17, verse 11. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. Uh oh, that's one heritage. Let's go wait, to wait, 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 wait. Hold on. He said he gave them the law of life. Mm -hmm. Now, if the scriptures say that Christ is the way, the truth, the truth and the life, life, would that mean it's talking about the spiritual heritage? Hmm. That's the spiritual law, right? Look, let's That's go the back. spiritual uh, law. We, That's we right. Do this right here. We're going to go back right here. Just go back one. First <laughs> 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 <Burst in. laughs> <laughs> Verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Who know what the name is? Oh. The word of God. There it is. That's it. <laughs> That's right. So now when you get it all into complete thought. <laughs> Beside <laughs> this, he gave them knowledge. Of his holy can... name. <laughs> and a law of life mm -hmm. for inheritance. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Look out now. That's right. <laughs> this That's talking right. spiritual. You talking know, people spiritual. probably just read right past that. They ain't even took, well, you're, you know, the, the heritage. Uh, what heritage? 
Mm-hmm. It's your heritage. Doctrine okay. or spiritual war. There mm-hmm. it is. That's the reason why the most I say you gonna inherit that land. That yes. doc- mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 24, verse 23. Mm-hmm. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Mm-hmm. Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage mm-hmm. unto the congregation of Jacob. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. So Uh-oh. now we go Uh-oh. back over to Malachi. And, and incidentally, Salem. and I mm-hmm. know somebody gonna say, he just said Moses. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I know y'all simple, right? And y'all don't <laughs> understand. One of his talking about Moses, all right? So that you know, Mm -hmm. Moses gave them the spiritual law, all right? And that's what was being taught all the way up until them wicked kings came up in there and started teaching that carnal law, all right? Let's back it up, Elder. One Mm -hmm. scripture that Elder Mm -hmm. King, you had. Go ahead, sir. Exodus, Exodus 24. And three, all right. to prove that he did give him the spiritual law. You can write down First Corinthians ten eleven also. Mm-hmm. Psalm seven eight and eighteen. We just, yeah. we just go to it. Let's get two of each. Yeah, yeah. So they say we lying. Exodus, what is it? Exodus twenty four and seven. I think is that it. Seven. Yeah, you read that. All right. Exodus twenty four and three, and Moses came and told the people. All the words of the Lord. His words are spiritual. The spiritual interpretation. It's going to explain in a little while. And all the judgments. That's teachings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words which the Lord hath said will we do. Read on. Mm -hmm. And Moses wrote, all the words of the Lord, that's mm-hmm. Christ, y'all know that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and rose up early in the morning. He Wednesday started morning. teaching. Yep. <laughs> he got mm-hmm. to understand it. Yep. yep. And yep. built it an altar upon the hill. So we what's know what the altar? hill is. We just found what the hill was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what's the altar? Mm-hmm. Church. That's right. It's a doctrine. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. yes. And 12 pillars According mm-hmm. to the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes, Connor. And he sent young men of the children of Israel mm-hmm. who offered burnt offerings. See, you know who those burnt offerings are? Mm-hmm. The yes, people. That's the, the people. people. They're bringing mm-hmm. their doctrines and they're making sure they approve. Y'all see mm-hmm. that? That's what we've been doing. He, he mm-hmm. told y'all about that when he told you how to do that peace offering and all that other stuff. Yes. Yes. Go watch the sacrificial law That's, video. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. That's uh uh Elijah was doing, right? Yes. yes. Right. Mm-hmm. You see what he's doing? Yes. Moses is doing the same thing. And now he's gonna do the same thing that uh Elijah did. Yes. What we went over. Yes. Read. Mm-hmm. And sacrifice peace offering of oxen unto the Lord. Those are men, women. Right. So now, so see now, think about the oxen, right? Oxen mm-hmm. might have been a mighty prophet, mm-hmm. but he's here. He mm-hmm. coming in peace. Yeah. So he, yes. this is an oxen that actually is converting to learn. That's why yes. he sacrifices yes. peace offering. Yes. He wasn't mm-hmm. coming with 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 uh, anger and vow like mm-hmm. comments <laughs> and, and, and the thing. They come and really want to know. Yeah, he really. might have been a, a strong prophet, yeah. but he, I, I really want to know. Sincere, I'm mm-hmm. sincere yeah. about what I'm asking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. it's coming. And Moses took half of the blood. What's the blood? No. Well, there you go, right there. That's <laughs> blood. Don't <laughs> worry. That's the doctor. doctor. That's right. That's right. Uh, Six fifty-five. <laughs> we teaching them spiritually. Yes. You see that there. And put in basin. What's a basin? Something that holds liquid, right? That's a vessel, right? The vessel. What's a vessel? Mm-hmm. That's a person. 
Is it yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. What's the altar? See that? The congregation. That's the fire. Altar is the, the fire. fire. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, see yeah, what yeah. he did. He's teaching. He taught he teach, he, this Moses is teaching like crazy. Right. Yes. So he taught this some of it to his to his prophets and some of it he gave to his congregation. There you I go. That. That's yes, what he did. That. Yes. He taught some over like we teaching y'all right now, and some of them he taught to the world. Like we have some things we don't put out. Some right. things we do teach y'all, some things we don't put out. That's what right. Moses did right here. That's what he's doing. He just like he taking the some men that learning, some women can learn better than others. That's what he did. He taught them and they taught them. Can mm-hmm. you read, read it? Read on. Seven. And he took the book of the covenant. Mm-hmm. And read in the audience of the people, and they said, All that the Lord has said mm-hmm. will we do and be obedient. So he taught them. Yes. He sprinkled them with blood, right? Yes. That spiritual interpretation is yes. no excuse. Mm-hmm. He taught them spiritually. That's right. He taught them st- spiritually. Ain't no man throwing no blood on me. Right, exactly. <laughs> what what Moses, good you, that gonna you, do? I say, man, you, I'm wrong with you, brother. Right, <laughs> you throwing blood Come on, on me. man. Blood of a bull, man. Shut up. <laughs> right, <laughs> doing that, man. Y'all verse simple. eight. Verse eight. Uh, oh, well, ver- where's eight? Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Next one. Uh huh. Verse eight. And Moses took the blood. Mm-hmm. What's the blood? <laughs> the doctrine. Huh? Yes. Mm-hmm. And Just sprinkled it mm-hmm. and sprinkled it on the people. I hit him with the E forty. Sprinkle me, man. <laughs> <laughs> that mean he told him. <laughs> he told him. He told him. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Sprinkle me, man. Sprinkle me, man. <laughs> <laughs> and said, "Behold." The blood of the covenant. See that? The spirit interpretation. He took the told you what the blood was. Yes. Which See the that? Lord, who the Lord? Who's Lord. the Lord? Doctor Christ. Christ. The, Christ is the Lord. That's, the, mm-hmm. that's right. That's right. He's the Lord. Hath made with you concerning all these words. He broke it down right there. Yes. All these words. The blood right. was all these words. Y'all oh, see that? Crazy. I'm done, Elder. That's the doctrine. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right Moses was teaching the spiritual law. Yes. Now, when he got to that rock, he had a little situation where he tried to bring something that wasn't approved. Mm-hmm. But he repented. Yep. Y'all see that? <laughs> all right. So, but he was teaching that spiritual law. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> so they now, wanted meat. He, they wanted meat. The Most High sent a lot of meat. That yeah, quail mm-hmm. represents that meat understanding that came from heaven. That wasn't no real birds. That was right. the meat understanding coming from up above. It's and a when similar. he said they all died, the ones that he, he said it got it in their mouth, and the Most High, the wrath of the Most High came on him, and he killed what six hundred thirty score or something like that. Yeah, Listen, man. he converted all of them. That's what yeah, he's mm-hmm. telling. He ain't telling you the Most High murdered half a million people out there in the middle of the, in the middle of the desert. Y'all got that? Yes. All right. So back to Malachi one and three. It says, "And I hated Esau." And laid his mountains or congregation and his heritage or his law or his doctrine waste for the dragons. Dragons. Let's get that. Job 30 and 20. We're going to get that. We breaking it down <laughs> precept upon precept. We're not playing with y'all today. That's right. Mm-hmm. Boy, the one thing that a man hate who teach that kind of doctrine is two or three precepts. So let's get the dragon. Job. I'm gonna go ahead and start at verse 28 and we we'll go down to 29. Job chapter 30, verse 28. I went mourning without the sun. <laughs> yeah, no understanding. I stood up and I cried in the congregation. Mm-hmm. The sun is equal as the 7 Eleven for the viewers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I am a brother to dragons and a companion to owls. So if he's a brother to dragons, so he's, this is not a, what's that show that was on HBO with the dragons? Oh. It's not that. This is not that. <laughs> so if you're a brother to dragons, Game, of, dragons, thrones. Game, Game of, thrones. of Thrones. This is not Game of Thrones. He's, he's a brother to dragons. He's talking about prophets. He's not yes. talking about Game Prophet. of Thrones. If That's these are right. prophets. So let's go to. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Just go one more. All right. So we go ahead and pull down this side <laughs> hole. <laughs> one more time. Yeah, bro. bro. Oh, my well, God. And, yeah. yeah, and, well, and Ward, would you like to proceed again to break this down? Your favorite scripture. <laughs> I don't know if he there. He he there. Be, he, is he? Yeah. Where you at, and where you want it? I'm yeah. here. <laughs> Break that down. Uh, let me say, um, my skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. Mm -hmm. uh, my doctrine is, <clears throat> excuse me, carnal upon me, yes. and my doctrine are burned with the word of God. Bang. Mm -hmm. Bang. That fires the heat. Yep. Look at bang. Look at bang. Y'all see that? The yeah. man just coming up in here, just smacking folks upside the head with all of this understanding. <laughs> right. That's, That's right. right. What I'm talking about. And he ain't making no apologies. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna go, we're gonna get another one for dragon. No addition. Yes, we go. We're right here. Additions of Elder in the apocryphal. Esther. Excuse me. What did mm -hmm. I say? Additions uh, of Esther. Not Esther. <laughs> <laughs> Esther. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> We're going to get it together here. You're having uh, some uh, cognitive difficulties, but mm -hmm. we're going to make it through. Yes, sir. Additions of Esther in the Apocrypha. This is the other version of Esther being told in the Bible. All mm -hmm. right. It's in the Apocrypha. Chapter 10, verse 6. A little fountain became a river. What's water? The word. Okay. Mm -hmm. so let's start about the doctor. Yep. Yeah. Ephesians what? Five, 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 six. Six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Done. Mm -hmm. And there was yep. light and the sun. He just gave you the sun. Please ask these 7 mm -hmm. And the light is uh, John 8 12, 2 Corinthians 4 and 6. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And much water. Again, that's doctrine. This river is Esther. Oh, oh, oh wait. Esther's, Esther's a woman. Right. <laughs> yes. right. Esther's a doctrine. There's a doctrine. Y'all see that? <laughs> Whom the king married and made queen. That mean he converted yes. to this hey. doctrine. Yes. <laughs> let me bring up let me bring up oh, let, me, let, me, let me let me get this slide and we can come right back to it. This is the finish. Oh, go ahead, And verse, verse seven. And the two dragons are I and Amon. So what are dragons? Prophets? Yes. There we go. So back That's to this right. one for elders. I, the I is Mordecai, in case y'all <laughs> right. didn't know. That's, yeah, that was That's what we're talking about, okay? Right. So now, Elder, go ahead. What you going right here? Uh, now that's, a, that's a good precept right there. Now, just like you said, um, um, Christ said, the queen of the south. Yes. The queen of the south was a doctrine. She had um, yes. Solomon doctrine. Yes. Her doctrine going to raise back up and judge these people today. Yes. Mm -hmm. So go to Sol Song of Solomon, chapter six and verse nine. Now, these are talking about doctrines. Yes. The whole right. book talking about doctrines, y'all. Yes. Song of Solomon, what you need? Uh, Song of Solomon 6 and verse 9. Yeah. Keep in mind, these are doctrines right here. Song of Solomon, mm. chapter 6, verse 9. My dove, my undefiled is but one. Mother Mary at this time, read. She 
is the only one of her mother. Jerusalem. Proverbs 1 and 8. Mm -hmm. She is the choice one of her that bear her. Great. The daughters saw her uh -huh. and blessed her. Uh -huh. Yea, the queens and That's the Esther. Country. Remember, Esther is a queen doctrine. Mm -hmm. So Solomon is writing about doctrines right here. See mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The queens and the concubines. The concubines, them temporary doctrines that man lay, lay on, lay on the couch with. Uh -huh. And they praised her. You see that? He's yeah. writing about doctrines that is in his head. Yeah. yeah. All praises. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's all, that, that old Solomon. He real spooky. Oh, he's very spooky, brother. A lot so, of people <clears throat> sitting up there talking about, uh, I am black, but calmly. They don't know <laughs> that thing ain't talking about Solomon. It's talking about his doctrine he didn't make. He, he got a old stupid bro. doctrine. He got a stupid doctor. This man wrote about some. Why would he say I'm beautiful and dumb? <laughs> right. I'm black, dumb, and beautiful. Y'all look at the bottom of that screen. Y'all see them precepts for black, shadow, dark, all of that stuff mean the same thing. It mean ignorance. But you going back over here to Malachi? one and three and I hated Esau and laid his mountains so now we don't went through and we got the mountain his congregations though his, his, follow, his followers basically mm -hmm. and his heritage and his law what he's teaching waste for the dragons the of dragons the wilderness are, the dragons are what uh, people Prophets. Just saying. prophets, <laughs> right? I just I try to say it. I, yeah. I want to say prophets right, right, of right. the wilderness. So what is the wilderness? Uh, uh, ignorance. There yes. you go. Wilderness of sin. Hey, Elder, you mm -hmm. got that? Yes. Yeah. Numbers me, thirty-three and eleven. There we go. Let me get that. Pull it up. That's one we don't use that much. And uh, was it Exodus sixteen, Exodus seventeen and one? Both of them sixteen and one and seventeen mm -hmm. and one. Is it numbers thirty-three and uh, eleven? I think that's one that mm -hmm. we don't use that much. So yeah, we, that's one of you. They showed the route. Yeah, I the think that's one. Did, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Numbers thirty-three and eleven, and they removed from the Red Sea, and encamped in the wilderness of sin. So when he's talking about, let me go back to his. I hated Esau because we just broke down what Esau was doing. He was marrying mm -hmm. his doctrines with every other doctrine. Mm -hmm. yes. He laid his followers and his law, because remember, he's mixing it. Mm -hmm. Waste for the dragons, the prophets of sin. Mm -hmm. That's what this is saying. That's mm -hmm. why God hated Esau, mm -hmm. because he was mixing the doctrines. Yes. And you know, in Deuteronomy 22, you can start at five and work your way all the way down. He started telling you don't mix fabrics. He started telling you don't have no diverse seeds. He started telling you what a woman wear, don't uh, better not uh, put on what a man wear and a man put not put on a woman's garment. He telling you don't mix doctrine. That's what Esau was in violation of. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. That's, That's why he was marrying about. strange women. Remember his parents yes. got mad because he had to marry the Canaanite woman? They didn't yes. want him to marry the people of yes. Canaan? That's then he married him. Ishmael's daughter. Yes. He was trying to get as many doctrines as he could. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. Verse 4. I'll let you have this one, Elder, because you, you're wonderful on this one. Whereas <laughs> Edom saith, we are impoverished. <laughs> yes, man. Right now, the, when it's talking about impoverished, now he done laid down their doctrine. They ain't talking about they ain't, you know, well, we gonna go on ahead and they gonna turn in the cavemen and all that other stuff. Mm -mm. People coming up with these stupid doctors. Oh, they didn't the Neanderthals and all that other stuff. No, they impoverished because they doctrine, he done laid their doctrines waste. Yes. All right. Y'all see that? Yeah. Israel did the same thing. Go to uh Judges six and six, I think. I think that's where it's at. Let's see. 
Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Judges yeah. six and six. Mm-hmm. And Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. Mm-hmm. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. Yes, the crying of understanding. Yeah, because they went into captivity. Just like yes. whenever, whenever it's talking about these and judges and all of that, whenever the um, the Israelites went into captivity, it ain't saying that them people came and then overthrew them militarily. <laughs> What it's saying is them people start following their doctrines. Yes. So they sitting up in there and they doing all this foolish stuff and then they came to the conclusion, man, we following this doctrine, this thing ain't even benefiting us. Let's try and get back over here to follow what the Most High told us. Yeah. That's what that's Jump saying. Up to, Jump up to six and one. This is why they were, they, they, they start sending, they lost the doctrine. Yes. So the most, every time, when they start going carnal, this what happened. Or put someone else on the head, someone yes. else on the head before. That's what them people are finding out now. Yeah. As they in them camps, them people sitting Those up there camps. taking their money, got them working for them. Boy coming out here like, hey man, I need you to wash my car. I need you to come down here, spend your money to come to Texas to fix my truck. Mm-hmm. They ain't gonna pay you and all that other kind of stuff. That's that's the mm-hmm. situation that them people in now. Mm-hmm. Judges 6 and 1 and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord see that mm-hmm. they started following other doctrines start following yes. other gods just like they doing now they following now. these gods these leaders these camp leaders mm-hmm. that's who they following mm-hmm. and the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian that's a different doctrine Mm-hmm. Seven years, so they got complete drop understanding. Drop down to six and read that. Yeah, now, drop down to six of you, uh, L, and read that again. So, so now, so now it makes sense. Mm-hmm. And Israel was greatly impoverished because of the they needed now. bread. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they needed yeah. bread. Um, yes. Matthew four and four. We got that bread of understanding. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Sirach fifteen and three. There you go, Sirach fifteen and three. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Because of the Midianites and mm-hmm. the children because of Because of right now, because of the Pharisees. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's telling the same They're going to cry out. They're going to cry out. Over and over and over. It just All that's happening so. is the people keep doing the same thing. They go yes. off in the corner and then they ask the Most High for understanding so that they can get salvation. The difference is now it matters because it's about over with. All right. And verse now, seven. Verse, verse seven, L. Yeah, verse mm-hmm. seven, because it's gonna wrap it up right there. Mm-hmm. What verse seven or verse eight? Yeah, go, read that right there. And it came to pass when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites. Because of the Pharisees, they mm-hmm. about to do it. Mm-hmm. Read. Next verse. Yeah. That the Lord sent a prophet. Us. Us unto the children of Israel, which said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I brought you up from Egypt. Stop right now, except set uh, Acts 7, verse 39, house of bondage, Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Yes, mm-hmm. read. And brought you forth out of the house of bondage. Oh, You're in the psychological prison now, and they' about to do it again. Yeah. But that's mm-hmm. it, Elder. I know it's. I know you can get back into your class. Yeah, Are we good. We good. No, we good. <clears throat> Whereas Malik, Edom Ma- said, "I got you. I got oh, you." Go breaking it down. Mm-hmm. Whereas Edom said, "We are impoverished. They ain't got no understanding, just like we just read. But we will return and build the desolate places." Now listen. Now they got this uh this certain captain <laughs> over here in Atlanta. <laughs> he a big muckety muck over there at Patient Saints Radio. Mm-hmm. And he told them people that desolate places meant that you're gonna be dropped off in the desert. <laughs> oh my god. All right. <laughs> yeah. That, that, you know, it's, it's it's really a shame. Like you said on that um uh, thing uh, uh, you were answering that that person over there, Elder Samuel, when you said 
about the the United Negro College Fund. Oh the yes, man. Mine is Please, a terrible yeah. thing to waste. You remember that when they come on TV bad? They brought me to a please give to the United Negro College Fund. Right. Well, oh, mine is a terrible, terrible thing. Anyway. Well, can you read, bro? It, it, on a, on a, in living color, they put it on the end of it. Keep your butt in school. Right. That man at that time. The flagellation of the Jerry Curl act. <laughs> and shut up. People don't know nothing. <laughs> People sample, man. We go, you know, we gonna drop y'all this, uh, in them UFOs. This is, what, <laughs> this is what it means to be desolate, right here. Psalms, so, yeah, okay. Psalm sixty nine twenty five. Let their habitation be desolate. <laughs> What's a habitation? <laughs> Ain't a habitation like a land. That's your house. Y'all see that? A house? That's where you live? A house? Y'all see that? Yes. And let none dwell in their tents. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. It's talking about houses. That's when right. It's talking about, when it's talking about desolate, desolate places, the first thing they think is the desert. Right. But the first thing we think is Jeremiah 3 and 1. Mm-hmm. Yes. That land. Yeah. That land, land mm-hmm. is the doctrine. Doctrine. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Isaiah 5 and 9. In mine ears said the Lord of hosts of a truth. Many houses shall be desolate. That's them congregation. <laughs> they ain't got no understanding in them. Mm-hmm. Even great and fair without inhabitant. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody going to believe that foolishness no more. Mm-mm. A UFO is going to pick you up and take you to the Sahara Desert. <laughs> and then you going to yeah. walk through the Sahara Desert. Yeah. Well, say, man, I got diabetes. Man, how in the world I'm going to make it? <laughs> say, man, I'm going to kill over there before I get salvation. <laughs> you got babies out there. What's that the desert. Need? I'm gonna need my diabetic pills. I'm gonna be to tell me the guy will take me from my house and put me in 120 yeah. degree weather. <laughs> well, so I know I'm a parish out there. <laughs> can we can we steal a couple of them fans from the church? <laughs> you better uh-huh. stop yourself to keep cool. <laughs> oh Lord, why? I'm <laughs> saying, so, Lord, don't, Lord, don't torture us out there. We got to go through all this. To get the key, <laughs> man, that gotta stop, man. Stop, bro. Stop lying, bro. Stop lying, bro. Stop they so lying. simple, oh, man. God. These people so simple, man. You know, oh, my, good oh, way, my man. God. <laughs> you know, good way. Big mama ain't gonna make it out there, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> she got to walk. Let the people walk from the Red Sea out there in the middle of the. Man, come on, bro. <laughs> they so simple. They simple, man. It's sad, brother. What's really going say, on? God gonna come get you <laughs> and put you on the <laughs> Man, these people following these people. Man, these people simple, man. <laughs> hey, 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 he, he, he hey. and he's smart. He knows hey, Christ. Bible. Hey, Christ used to disappear in front of me. Right. I can't take exactly. it no more. Pocus, pocus, and he was gone. It's like, man, where did he go? God, leave, bro. Where did he go? Hey. Hey. Oh, my God. Man, went up in hey. a puff of smoke. I ain't seen oh, him since. Man. Come on, hey, bro. Hey, at first, Moses, Moses was on his side. <laughs> and he got a taste of the understanding. He said, God. You can kill him. <laughs> oh man! That's right. You said that's right. Y'all Most gonna stop following me, man? No, man, come on, man. I gotta stop this, man. <laughs> I gotta stop hey, this, man. At first, Moses said, "Oh Lord, don't do this." But when the people say, "Oh my Lord," a few hey. days later, we say. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can't take it no more. <laughs> I, I got a question. Be <laughs> hey, man, this is hilarious. I got a question. 
She got a question. She, she, she just <laughs> saved it. Thank the prophetess that saved us. Yeah. Okay. So I got a question. I yeah. heard that, you know, when this, the prophets or the deacons and the um, bishop, they're the first to get the word from God and then they are <laughs> to preach it to the people. Is that true? Okay, let me give you a scenario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we saw that little that little uh, dissertation as well. Right. <clears throat> Let me explain something to you. <laughs> now that the mm -hmm. word is coming out that those men are lying, right? Because everyone, it's like it's been like you know, like when we was talking about David took five smooth stones. Them mm -hmm. last five videos we've done. Are five smooth stones up against the do uh, up against the dome of them people. Mm -hmm. That man know now it's clear. You can see his doctrine is foolish. So now, what he got to do, he got to convince his congregation that they already knew the doctrine, <clears throat> but they had to take them a certain way in order to get them to the spiritual understanding. So that's why he went and he went to Matthew 13. Cause we keep killing them with one thing. We keep saying the same thing over and over again. Christ said they ain't gonna know the parables. So now that's place started over there supposedly in 2003. Mm -hmm. Now it's 2023. For 20 years, they've been taking them people with that corner doctrine, right? So now here it is, they get to year 20 and they find out their doctrine wrong, right? In order to stay in charge of them people, he's going to go and say, what excuse can I have to take over where they left off without giving, without giving up anything from me, without admitting that I didn't know? what I was talking about. So they got his all of his captains and his deacons and them bishops, they in there studying our doctrine. We sit there and we look, and we got analytics on our videos, and it show you all of them old videos. I'm talking about them things, they, they watching them things like crazy. We sitting there watching them do it, right? So that they could try and get our doctrine down, right? So what he going to say now is, well, we had to make sure all the bishops, the deacons, and the captains, and the senior officers had the proper doctrine. Now we going to go ahead and teach it to y'all, right? The question comes this. If you already knew the doctrine 20 years ago, right? What about all of them people that followed your doctrine? All them people that died along the way, right? Thinking that you had the right doctrine, but you saying, I spent 20 years teaching all of my bishops, deacons, and captains what the doctrine meant. So all of them people died, right? But mm -hmm. y'all going to get the kingdom. Yeah. But what about them people that died following Before. your life? Before. We could tell he, y'all, uh, yeah, he lied. That? So the Most High ain't said that. Mm -mm. What the Most High said was, he said he going to send, he said them, them wicked prophets was going to come. Mm -hmm. Right, all of them Pharisees, which they did, they manifested mm -hmm. now. Daniel he eight said, twenty, Daniel chapter eight verse twenty three. What he quoted says, um, Daniel chapter eight verse twenty three on down. What he quoted, the transgressors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go then ahead. He said he gonna send pastors of his own heart. There you go. Who got his doctrine? Jeremiah three and fifteen. Because God is a spirit, right? Yes. So when he sends somebody talking carnal, no, no way. <laughs> Check and out how Christ spoke and the rest of the prophets. They spoke in such a way <laughs> you had to come up to their level. Now they came down to their level like Jacob came down that Jacob's ladder and he mm -hmm. talked to people. 
but he went right back up. He said, bring them hither, bring them up to a higher level, yeah, to a spiritual level. We say, bring them hither. Christ yeah. said in Luke chapter 19, 27, he said, bring them hither. Yeah, it say he that in Revelation 11. It say that in 11, Revelation 11 too, tell them, come up hither. He talked yes. about come up to Jerusalem. Yes. All right. Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. So now what's happening is everything that he said, because the people don't understand. They looking for actual physical things. All of them prophecies come in the past, right? Because he said that they was going to manifest again because he said they got to pay for killing his son. All right. And they got to pay for not teaching them people. Because what they did was they stamped out the spiritual doctrine and they had to rule over the people. And so now he's sending Christ like a thief in the night. A thief is a man. A man is a prophet. He going to come redo. He going to redeem all of the righteous in the night. What night mean? When you don't have the knowledge. Yes, ignorance. Oh, that's that's yeah. right. So now here they ignorant following that kind of foolishness. Right? And he gonna come and he gonna redeem all those people who convert. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? That man see it now. Don't get it twisted. He's a prophet. Mm -hmm. He's a ancient Pharisee. Yeah, he ancient. And he Pharisee. know he made that he made that precept packet. That means that man has some understanding of the kind of doctrine, right? Yes. Now, remember we just read how Esau was the firstborn, mm -hmm. but he didn't see the value in that doctrine, mm -hmm. and he tossed it away, mm -hmm. right? Sure did. What's, Elder, what's that, what's that dawn of a scripture? In Hebrews, mm -hmm. where he called them, he say like uh, no profane person is Esau, but he called uh, them Esau. What is it? Man, is it what? Hebrew, 12, yeah, it's been a while. Like 12, 16, 16. Hebrews yeah. 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 He talking Hebrews about 12, them. 16. We'll go ahead and get it. Yeah. But he talking about them. He talking they about them. Cast, they, they, cast his, they cast the doctrine back. He, he used did, they, that mm -hmm. doctrine. To get that morsel of meat, that understanding, right? He said, a similitude of any figure. So their yeah. similitude of doing that, 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 that. <laughs> Every abominable thing, they reached to, to the top. Everything. Yes. Uh, the Christmas reach. tree. Mm -hmm. Everything. <laughs> it's, it's them. Yeah. Everything. Yes. <clears throat> Read that. Hebrews 12, 16. Lest there be any fornicator. A fornicator is somebody committing fornication, meaning they following a different doctrine. Y'all get that? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. They got Jezebel doctrine. Mm -hmm. Revelation uh, 2, what, 24? Mm -hmm. Or profane person. Profane. That means he's, file, he's defiled, okay? He's not following the right doctrine. He's not following the spiritual doctrine. As Esau. That's Jacob's brother. For right. one morsel of meat, mm -hmm. meat sold is his birthright. Sold that birthright. He would have dog. Well, we just keep reading. <laughs> For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, the blessing is that spiritual doctrine. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? This man yeah. had it because he wrote a precept packet. Those are spiritual precepts that man wrote. Okay? So he That's how he feel it now. Yes. This this is exactly how he feel it. Check out how he look now. Check yes. out. <laughs> and I'm you know, it's 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 something to think about. And he yes. knows this now. Yes. He knows yes. this. He knows it now. Yes, that's why he doing yeah. what you said he was doing with that talk mm -hmm. about we. Well, I got to come up with it. Like you remember how to, you know, you watch bake when you was a kid. You was sitting there watching, and then the Grinch came up there to steal that Christmas tree, and that little girl came out there, and she said, uh, "Sandy Claus, uh, why are you taking <laughs> our tree?" He said, "I had to. I had you know one of the lights wasn't working on it. You know, I had to take it back to the North Pole." 
he came up with a lie and he thought mm -hmm. it up quick. Yes. That's what he just did. Yes. He can't explain why all this stuff, whenever, man, one of the, the, the reaction we got from that class that Elder mm -hmm. Samuel did about that sacrificial law. Because mm -hmm. as he was going through and he was explaining what all those little words mean. People was mesmerized. They were saying, man, wait a minute. That's saying something totally different. How could I not see that? Right? Christ is here. He's here. He's here. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. he like a thief in the He's night. with us. Mm -hmm. yes. He's with us. He's so with now, us. These people sitting there saying, whoa. So why aren't these guys who are the leaders of Israel, why aren't these guys giving us this understanding? And he knows now he's yeah. lost the people because the people can see his doctrine is carnal and they see the only path to righteousness is through the doctrine of Christ. Mm -hmm. So he got to go and brush off that old playbook he got where he wrote that precept packet with because now he can see the value in it, right? But he tossed yes. it away, right? But go ahead and read uh, verse 17 again, Elder uh, Johanna. For we know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, the actual he would, doctrine, mm -hmm. he was rejected. He rejected it because he thought, well, if I go this route with this corner thing, I can control them people. Now he done ticked off the most high now. Mm -hmm. he and Jezebel. Know. Jezebel yeah. got a lot of followers. Oh, she she it's sad. That doctrine she with anybody call yes. her. Come here, honey. Right. She gone. That's right. That's the Everybody gone. in that bed. That's you right. See that? That's an uh you make that much with that doctrine too. You say what? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. That's yeah. what he that's where his heart always was. He tempted God. The man went and said, Lord, give me this understanding. I just want to teach your people. Mm -hmm. Then after that first check came in, he said, well, I'm going to keep this one, Most High, but the next one is yours, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Most High I still like that. waiting on that next check. <laughs> That's Uncle Stephen's story right now. <laughs> hey, um, Elder Samuel, what you were talking about, um, just in regards to trying to take it now and mm -hmm. and and like oh yeah we already had that the mm -hmm. problem is do you go back into like first peter 3 and 15 where where it says you know sanctify the lord god in your hearts mm -hmm. yeah okay you can get it yeah i get it <clears throat> cuz we're going to keep going we will keep bringing it with the precepts cuz we don't want nobody saying we lie no, we ain't lying. Like old that, that, that old court just over there. He ain't lying. Mm -hmm. He ain't lying. <laughs> First Peter's 315. But mm -hmm. sanctify the Lord yeah. God in your hearts. Uh-huh. So you gotta get the, the the you gotta get God's doctrine, Christ's doctrine mm -hmm. in your heart. Yes, yeah. you gotta set it apart. Mm -hmm. Sanctify, you gotta set it apart from any other doctrine. And be ready always to give an answer mm -hmm. to every man that asketh you a reason, asketh you a reason of hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Now that's look at that. That's the problem. Because mm -hmm. now you're gonna have to have you're gonna have people that are coming to you asking questions, mm -hmm. and you're not gonna have an answer. Why? Because it says that you have to do it with meekness and fear, mm -hmm. and, and you're not a meek person no mm -mm. you have to have be proud the spirit of christ <laughs> in order to be me that's the one the fruit that. of the spirit yes mm -hmm. that's right go yes. back let's finish up that thing in uh in hebrew <clears throat> that's right mm -hmm. for he know how that afterward mm -hmm. when he would have inherited the blessing he, he was rejected uh, nathaniel would have inherited the blessing yes but he he was rejected because he mm -hmm. gave away the most valuable thing in the world, which was the, the understanding of the spiritual doctrine. Read yes. on. 
for he mm. found no place of repentance. See that? Remember, we was talking last on that last video we did about how uh, that four to one. Mm -hmm. If you train a bull up and he go and push, you can bar you can bar your let's life. Let's get it. Let's get it. What's that one? Okay, let's get the scripture about the four to one. Was it Exodus? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, what what that what that scripture about four to one, uh, Elder? I, I, uh, I know it's the in, one uh, in Exodus twenty one about the bull that push. That's where the Exodus. I think it is the Exodus twenty twenty twenty. I think it's Exodus twenty right before twenty one. Uh, I think that's where it's it was. Like, it was like it's, the first verse. I know that uh, was like the first first verse. What was it? Okay, Exodus twenty. No, no. You know what? No twenty. One and thirty six, I think. Yeah. Okay. Because the one about the bull is like thirty six or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But go ahead. Yeah. Let's get both of those. Let's show the four to one. I want people to see mm -hmm. that. Exodus twenty one thirty six. Or if mm -hmm. it be known that the ox have used to push in time past. Okay. Ox and used own. to push in time past. Now y'all know an ox is a bull, right? I know. Mm -hmm. it, he, he talking about a bull. He talking about a prophet. All right. Yeah, Remember man. whenever we did the uh, elder did the class on sacrificial laws. That bull, mm -hmm. that's a chief prophet. All right. Mm -hmm. Call them them because he got people up on them. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you know, he said, or if it be known that the arch had mm -hmm. used to push in time past, mm -hmm. you know this man. Whenever he learns something, he first thing he want to do is go up in there and start telling people what to do. Like mm -hmm. the young boys, they that. got up in there and they sitting up in there and they trying the first thing they want to do, try and play that, uh, how they say, uh, uh, try and catch you up in your words and all that other kind mm -hmm. of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Those preceptacons, try and uh, get up in there and, and embarrass you yeah. so that they can say I'm smarter than you. Mm -hmm. All right. That's what he talking about, right? Them, them bulls. Mm -hmm who learn something and the first thing they want to do is troubleshoot you. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Yep. It says, uh, if if it be known that the ox have used to push in time past, meaning push with that horn, that horn is that doctrine. All right. Yep. Once yep. he got that yep. doctrine, he using that. The horn is a member of a bull. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. So he used that doctrine in order to overcome somebody to make them follow him mm -hmm. right yeah, okay. and his owner hath not kept them in now you done went and taught this man right knowing that he out of control but you yeah. like mm -hmm. it because you want to see him get out there just like that captain that that uh get a liar yeah that captain get up in there he talk all crazy and all that because he say well you know i'm a young man i know this doctrine better than anybody else anybody mm -hmm. come up in here whether i'm right wrong i'm gonna i'm gonna be strong and wrong then you see what mm -hmm. i'm saying but he know how to talk so he gonna try and mm -hmm. make everybody follow him even if it's a lie mm -hmm. that's what it's talking about that's a lot of them captains he got over there and some of them mm -hmm. deacons right he said and yep. his owner has not kept him in you didn't go and correct that man and tell him yes, Look right. that man do you mm -hmm. understand the punishment of you going out there doing what you doing mm -hmm. he shall surely pay ox for ox and the dead shall be his own mm -hmm. so he letting you know you going if you go get your captain to go out there and he overcome another captain with, a, with his doctrine that he done learned mm -hmm. from you, the most high, he gonna require you to pay for every person that that man went out there and destroyed and got them following his doctrine. Mm -hmm. You gonna have to pay. It is right With there. another person. Yeah. Yeah. This it right here. Elder. That's the it back right of what you said. Okay. <clears throat> if a man shall steal an ox mm -hmm. or a sheep, the so that's what a man the just did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And kill it, convert mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. or sell it. Meaning he done taught it a doctrine. Buy and sell ain't talking about doctrine. going down to Walmart or Target. <laughs> mm -hmm. Buy and sell it's three ways. preaching. It's three ways you can kill. You can, a person can die in a coffin. 
a person can be um you can kill the old man in that person help him kill the old man in that person and he'll be reborn again mm -hmm. or you can kill him by he walking around dead stupid mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. this is what it's talking about here this so is how... if a man still an ox um isaiah one and three because the ox is a teacher it's a mm -hmm. motor or a sheep a sheep is a loyal follower Mm -hmm. Psalms 100 and what a, what an elder 103 and three, three and kill it. See, now you walk around stupid or chapter sell it. 100. Chapter 100, yeah. verse 3. Go ahead, though. Yeah, one, verse 3. Or sell it. You convince him with your words. Mm -hmm. He yeah. shall restore five oxen for an ox, five oxen per that person. You and gotta create no hold on. You don't see how deep that is. You have bro. to create five oxen. Oh yes. my god. That's that a lot, one bro. ox. Yes. Yes. You have That's to right. create somebody with that level of an oxen. He has to have five people that can create followers, mighty prophets. You got to create five of them for that one ox you took away from the Lord. Yes. That's right. So <laughs> when we teach, we get this. Yeah. Uh, uh, we get we give the spiritual interpretation because we know what we're dealing with right here. It might sound foolish to people unlearned, but we say, "Hey, we still going to teach this spiritual interpretation. Still going to do it." We might come down and bring them up and say, "You know, I don't like to deal with meat or uh, milk. I really mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. I try I, honestly." So I they try can't to get the kingdom with that milk. They got to huh? have the meat. They got, got to have, to have the meat the... to get the king. Yeah. I don't, That's what Christ do. said. Yes. But look so, what else is saying here. And mm -hmm. four, four sheep, sheep. Go four ahead. a sheep. Now think about that. I looked over there on their site. They got over 100,000 subscribers on that in the classroom too. Over 100,000 subscribers. Just on the subscribers alone, them folks got to bring 400,000 people to the most. Not high. only that, and the people that is 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 generating because now they spreading mm -hmm. the word. Yep. They yeah, spreading yeah, the word. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, spreading yeah, the yeah, word. Yeah, they yeah. spreading the word. Oh you'll my You'll never, God. you'll yeah. never <laughs> be able to provide that many people. That means Let's, the only way you can get in is mercy. That's Good. why Paul said what he yes. said. I'm the yes. least of all the disciples because he had to win and he had destroyed all of the people, man, converting them back to that Pharisee doctrine. Even James now, this man, fire. he mm -hmm. wrote the whole, just about 80% mm -hmm. of the, the New Testament. That man said, I'm the least of the apostles. Mm -hmm. That man knew what he did. And y'all sitting up in here and y'all doggone keep uh, corralling all these people toward that man doctrine. And whenever the time James comes three to and pay, five, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. When the time comes yep. to pay, mm -hmm. y'all ain't going to be able to pay that bill. You can't pay that bill, brother. This thing is, is in it, and we crying out to brother, brother. We don't, don't want y'all people, man. <laughs> y'all see, it ain't but what, like eight, no. ten people on this thing? We good. We just teaching. We good. They gonna be gold. <laughs> we they ain't gonna, be gold. gonna take no money. We don't want mm -mm. nobody coming, bowing down before us. We just mm -mm. teaching. Whoever get it, get it. That's what they doing, Elder, right here. Yes. James 3 and 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member mm -hmm. and boasted great things. Mm -hmm. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Keep mm reading. -hmm. They don't start at that fire. Mm -hmm. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. Sin. So is the tongue among our members. Members See? are what? What's members? People. Yep. Members of doctrines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And it defileth the whole body. What's the, the congregation. Body? Yep. Word. 
yes. and setteth on fire the course of nature. That natural that? man, that natural mm -hmm. man. That's that mm -hmm. karma. Mm -hmm. And it is set on fire of hell. You see that? How that fire don't went? Yes. Oh, they, it's oh my God. It's, it's spreading. Y'all don't oh. have any idea yes. what y'all in for. That's why I said, don't teach that on understanding. Give them spiritual interpretation. Yes. You keep saying that. My word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. All right. Finish out Malachi. We can finish out those Esau. I know we mm -hmm. went out for a second, but uh, we had to come back in. Mm -hmm. Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. They're impoverished because they don't have no doctrine. All mm -hmm. right. But we, re we will return and build the desolate places. So he's telling you, Esau is going to bring back a doctrine. Mm -hmm. They're going to bring that doctrine back, that kind of doctrine. That doctrine going to spread throughout the world. Mm -hmm. As you see right now, the world is in wickedness. Mm -hmm. The whole entire world, regardless mm -hmm. of what nation, all of these nations are in wickedness. Read on. Thus said the Lord of hosts. This is Christ speaking. They shall build all of them, all of them nations and all of these pe people going to come up with these doctrines that everybody going to be following. They're going to build up those doctrines. Read. But I will throw down. He going to throw mm -hmm. those doctrines down. His doctrine is going to supersede all of these doctrines. Just like that thing mm -hmm. in, in uh, uh, Daniel uh, yep, 7. Yep, I was just there. Said where the he thrones said cast that down. all them thrones going to be yes. cast down. That's what he talking about. All of them people mm -hmm. who everybody following now. Whenever the most high doctrine starts spreading, them people going to realize we need to convert. Read. Mm -hmm. And they shall call them mm -hmm. the border of wickedness. Border mm -hmm. is a doctrine, okay? That's mm -hmm. right. That's a doctrine, okay? Yes. The doctrine of wickedness. That's what it's talking about. It ain't talking yes. about individual people, right? It's just like Christ said. The uh, word people when translate they to uh, uh, doctrines, okay? Mm -hmm. What's that that scripture that where people turn into doctrine? I oh, forget it's, that. It's an address. I, I, yeah, I was thinking about it earlier. Yeah, people mean doctrine. Y'all, mm -hmm. they got y'all looking at the thing, and they y'all thinking carnal, mm -hmm. but it ain't talking about actual people. It's mm -hmm. talking about doctrines of people. All right, that's what he's talking about. All right, so what they do is they get mm -hmm. you confused to make you think that the most I talk about white people, right? But the most I say everybody can get it. <laughs> if he you can, can everybody. Everybody. He doctor, the can man. Can get it. He said, "I'm the right. can man." Anybody That's can. That's right. That's He's... right. He talking about the people with the carnal doctrine. That's who he talking about. Those are the people who following the doctrines of today. Mm -hmm. All right. What is that thing, man? I so got the border. We okay, yeah, I, I was looking for it in Ezra. The Keep one it. with people. It, is it? Is it us? That's why second Ezra was three. Yeah, I'm, I'm, all up in my head. I'm, I can't recall it. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. I know what you're talking. I said I knew he's gonna pull that one. <laughs> trying to see, uh, see if I can get it together here. See if I can get a thought. <laughs> it's one with Adam. It's talking about Adam. Mm -hmm. But the but he's talking about his doctrine is no good. You know, when Christ was was um people was trying to touch the bolt the hem of his garment, mm -hmm. the bolt his garment. That's what they his garment. Um, uh, Esau doctrine is no good. Right. That's what I'm saying. People want to touch the border of Christ's garment. His doctrine. Verse seven. Mm -hmm. Um. It, second. Yeah, three, three, three and seven. seven. Yep, I got yeah, it. At the same the time. Word. Yep, at yeah. the same time. Yep. Yeah. All praise. Sorry, y'all. A little patience. And oh, no, you're doing uh, great. Thank you. <laughs> That's it right there. Yep. Second, second Ezra 3, three and 7. And, seven. Mm -hmm. and unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way. Way is the doctrine. All mm -hmm. right. Which he transgressed. And immediately thou appointest death in him. He's talking about Adam. Yes, he transgressed the way. Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. All those words mean the same thing. So we <clears throat> transgressed the spiritual doctrine. Right? And, and then immediately he said, go ahead. And immediately thou appointest death in him in yeah. his generations. Okay, so now he appointed death, meaning the carnal law in him. All these words here about all these things mean the same thing. You know, he about to say mm-hmm. in him, right? In his generations, his doctrines, his generations is the doctrines that he teach. Mm-hmm. Of whom came nations? Other doctrines was developed off of his doctrine. Because right now, this is the sin of Adam. Mm-hmm. Everybody is caught up in this corner doctrine he created by the name of Cain. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. everybody's still following that doctrine. It's got different names, but mm-hmm. Cain is the doctrine that everybody mm-hmm. follows. All if right. If you guys want to get the full understanding, go uh, watch the Meet for the Captain's uh, Sin of Adam. Yes. No, yeah, Sin of, Sin of Adam. Yes, that's it. Yes. Of whom came nations? That's doctrines. Tribes? Tribes is doctrine. All of them, the, the, the 12 sons of Jacob. Okay. Jacob created 12 doctrines. 12 stones. He 12 had 12, doctrines. that's right. 12 and, pillars. Yes. 12 all pillars. of it mean doctrines. Now, so you mm-hmm. see in the consistency, all of these things mean doctrines, right? Mm-hmm. Then you get that's why he explained it in Genesis 49. He explained it, their doctrine that uh, later in how it's gonna be. Yes, mm-hmm. in the latter you day. say Joseph. Here's Joseph's doctrine going to run over the wall. Yes, that's that? right. Mm-hmm. That's why he said, Joseph said, when y'all get up out of here, take my bones with you. Joseph's yes. doctrine. Right. He's yes. a doctrine. He's a doctor. All right. Those tribes, the 12 tribes of Israel is the 12 doctrines that that man created. All right. right. That's what that's talking about. Read mm-hmm. on the people. People. That's a doctrine. And kindreds, we kindreds. just read about the kin woman called wisdom like kin's yes. woman. Yes, correct. Out of number. So it's gonna be all nobody gonna be able to number this wicked doctrine that's gonna overtake the world, which it has overtaken the world now. No. So whenever it's talking about the people. As you say, look at that. Make sure you look at it. Read that people. Read the that people, people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. That's right. The Most High hates the carnal doctrine. He hate it. That's what he's talking about. The Most High hates the carnal doctrine. That's mm-hmm. what that's saying. It ain't talking about white people. It's talking about the doctrine of the powers that be now. Yes. Here you are. You sit up there and say, well, you know, only only the white people is. Uh, the, well, I mean, you know, you got all of them big time entertainers making all that money. A lot of them black. They got influence. People follow what they do. They live their lifestyle. According to these men, these men running out here got Lamborghinis sitting up in here. Running through women, making holes out them women. They making videos and all this other stuff, making people looking simple and mm-hmm. all that other stuff, making the women look like whores and all that. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, you know, that's what they doing. So now they got a doctrine. Like you said, Elder said, name a Tupac song. Mm-hmm. He said, Well, mm-hmm. the song is his doctrine. That's a doctrine he yep. came up with. Yep. All right. And that's what them people are. Well, go ahead, Elder. We go to Malachi two and ten. Want me to read that? He about to get on. Uh, you jumped over. Uh, yeah, I jumped over. Go, oh, oh, hey, Elder. Mm-hmm. Go back to six for me. All right. Cause see, this is something right here. He telling you. He telling everybody right now. Mm-hmm. Go, go read seven. All right, Malachi one and six. A son honoreth his father. Stop. You remember we read earlier that in, in John chapter 8, verse 39, Christ said, if you were the children of Abraham, mm-hmm. 
You will yes. do the works of Abraham. So yes. you're not honoring your father. Right. right. He's not only getting no Esau, he's getting on Jacob too. Right. Yes. Read. And his servant, his master. His teacher. Mm-hmm. Read. If then Did Abraham I... teach us. Yes. We we he taking us through the scriptures what he went through. All these yes. prophets teach us. Yes. This this is this is are their testimonies. Don't yes. make the mistakes I made. Correct them the way I corrected them. That's in um uh, um uh, what is the second Ezra one, uh like thirty seven thirty eight. Whenever he starts saying these your teachers that's gonna come from the east. Mm -hmm. Yes, he talking about them prophets that wrote these books. Yes, that's what he talking about. The that. books. You talking about that's the right. book? Book. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. If if then I be a father, where is mine honor? He said, where's my honor? He telling he, Jacob need to wake up. Where's mm -hmm. my honor? Mm -hmm. You should be doing the work for Abraham. Mm -hmm. I, I gave an example. I gave yes. a book. These prophets I sent to you. First Thessalonians uh, 2.14 through 18. I mm -hmm. sent them to you and you murdered them. All of yes. them. Even yes. my son. Yes. Please? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Where, where is my fear? You don't fear me. You fear your bishop. Yeah, you see your deacon read, said the Lord of hosts unto you. No, uh -huh. oh, that's priest. what we say right there with the Lord of hosts, ain't that something? <laughs> <Yes>. Read, <laughs> oh, <laughs> priest that despise my name, Ooh. you hate my, my law, yes, my, my word. spiritual law. They hate it, yes. Now they're trying to they're trying to slide up like like the prophetess said. Yeah, well we had to we had to teach the bishops and we had to teach the deacons and teach the mm -hmm. captains. They trying to act like they on game now, but he mm -hmm. telling you they did it under duress because he knows that they despise his name. Now we you know welcome it. it if they teach mm -hmm. it right because right. everybody got to get the understanding. But they just so mm -hmm. proud that they won't give credit to the most high. Yeah, brother, mm -hmm. we welcome you to teach the spiritual doctrine. Teach it, mm -hmm. but stop mixing it with them lies. That right. lie. Mm -hmm. Right. And ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying. Yeah. Really? <laughs> they see and they don't see. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. We offer polluted bread. Stop. <laughs> oh my God. That's right. That's right. That speak for itself. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Y'all see that. You preaching that con interpretation. Yes. Uh-huh. Up upon mine altar. And ye mm -hmm. say, wherein have we polluted thee? It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Right. It's in the Bible. Okay. <laughs> but you and told that, the talk. What's the elder? No, it's good. I like it. But you showed the corner interpretation. Read. Right. And that ye say the table of the Lord is contemptible. Yes. Uh huh. Because mm -hmm. they telling y'all ain't no such mm -hmm. thing as spiritual Israel. That's a yes. lie. Yes. You can't prove no spiritual Israel. So they blaspheming the Holy Ghost. They blaspheme. Right? They, cause they find it contemptible. Cause mm -hmm. whenever you learn the spiritual law, all of a sudden, that prophet gone. Now the most high holding you responsible to know his understanding. The prophet out of it. He told us to warn you. Men and mm -hmm. priests to you. Once the prophet yes. teach you how to read that thing, hey, that's between you and the most high now. You don't need another yes. Lord. You need, to, yes. you need to get with the real Lord. Right. <laughs> if they say that this book was given to the Israelites, then you're supposed to be reading it too about mm -hmm. Malachi. Because yes. this is including you. Yes. Right. He talking about them. <laughs> he talking about them. Yes. Yeah. Come Read. On. And if you offer the the blind for sacrifice. Uh -oh. That's what they're doing. Uh -oh. He has blinded <laughs> all of them with the spiritual interpretation. He don't he gave he gave him the corner interpretation instead. Yes. yes. <laughs> Read. Is it not evil? Yes. He said, ain't that evil? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, and if you offer the lame and sick, is it the, not the lame? The lame, they injured. Yes. They don't have the whole arm of God on them. No. The spirit interpretation. Mm -mm. Ephesians 6 11. They sick. Now, Mark mm -hmm. chapter 1, verse 32. 
a spiritual disease. Yeah, doctrine defiled. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Offer it now unto thy governor. Shoot, stop. He said, <laughs> take him to take him to Nathaniel when he accepts somebody um um doing opposite against his policy. Right. Take That's it to him. Right. Will he accept it? Right. Well, he sure let us up to old Ithon back. Now, I don't will know he, if the man ever going back, but it sure don't look like it. Will he be he didn't pleased? Accept, right. Will he be he pleased with me? Uh, accept that? Well, he's the wife. <laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't accept her. No. You see that? Yes. Read. Will he be will he be pleased with thee or accept <laughs> really? that person? See that? Nah, he ain't taking that new doctrine coming up there in his in his game. He you won't see that? <laughs> That's it, Elder. All right, we can go over chapter. Thank you, Elder. Mm -hmm. Oh, praises. I love his his weeping. <laughs> so now, back to the brothers, right? Because mm -hmm. y'all because the whole the subject is about Esau. Who told you that Esau was a white man? Mm -hmm. So now let's go to Malachi 2 and 10. And we're gonna ask this question. Malachi, Malachi chapter 2 verse 10 have we not all one father mm -hmm. have not one God created us was there another God that created you elder no nope. well, we got the same God of Israel the same that's God the that wrote this Bible there's it's, it's no other God right that's right no other God. that's right Read. why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother ask yourself that question mm-hmm why do you deal treacherously with your brothers? Mm -hmm. Why do you talk down to other people? Why mm -hmm. do you hate the other races? Why do yeah. you deal treacherously with them? Why do you rob them? See, the reason why you went into captivity off the jump is because you didn't teach the world. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is the reason why the world is in disarray right now. That's because right. you dealt treacherously with it. I'm only going right. to teach these people to get the, the knowledge. So yes, guess sir. what? I don't know to love my brother as I love myself, so I put you in slavery. I don't know to love my brother as I love myself, so now I'm teaching you a doctrine of getting money and, and 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 just pillaging everybody's household. They got churches on every corner, and everybody broke. Yeah, but the church is up and rich. Yes. You got a whole Catholic church sitting up there, rich as I don't know what. That's right, robbing the people because mm -hmm. they deal treacherously with each other. That's right. Read. By profaning the covenant of our fathers. The covenant, the law that God gave us, the spiritual law that he gave us, mm -hmm. we, you just profane it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You blasphemy against it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You teach hatred. Mm -hmm. You teach racism. You take mm -hmm. the word of God, which is supposed to bring peace on this earth, mm -hmm. and you take it and you teach hate. Mm -hmm. You profaning the word of God. Mm -hmm. And you're going to throw it. That's right. You're mm -hmm. taking the word of God and you're charging it, charging people for money. You're profaning the word of God, the covenant that he gave into us. And we're mm -hmm. here to correct that. That's mm -hmm. why yes, we sir. come out with these classes every week to mm -hmm. educate our people, to bring them back to the word of God. That's right. Where's but guess man? who dealt tre treacherous? Look who mm -hmm. dealt treacherously with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Judah hath dealt treacherously. Who? Whoa, whoa, whoa. One more time? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Judah uh -oh. has uh -oh. dealt treacherously. No, so-called uh -oh. so-called white man. Judah uh -oh. hath dealt treacherously. So-called Moabite. Judah has dealt treacherously. So-called East Indian. Judah has dealt treacherously. Why? Because God gave you the oracles to teach the world. That's right. That's right. That's right. Read. And an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For Judah has profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and has married the daughter of a strange God. Uh -oh. The Bible's only for one set of people. Mm -hmm. Them that That's are strange that are God. That's a strange mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. this, this be they that separate themselves. Mm -hmm. Like it says in Jews. Central. 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 
That's mm-hmm. it. They got all in your feelings. Right. <laughs> supple. Hands all supple. All supple <laughs> like a lady. <laughs> Hands all supple. <laughs> you the one separating yourself. That's the one. That's a strange God. Nathaniel's right. a strange God. That's right. Because that God said only mm-hmm. the black people, Hispanic people, and Native Americans went into slavery on ship. That's a strange mm-hmm. God, cause God didn't say that. Cause we right. just proved it. That them other nations, basically mm-hmm. all nations in the world went into slavery on ship. That was the major mode of transportation back in the day. Right. Come on, man, stop being simple. Verse 12. The Lord will cut off man. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this. Hey, read that clearly, because I want you to understand what God's going to do to you. That's teaching this this hatred and this racism doctrine. If you mm-hmm. use the word to benefit other than for the Lord, you benefit for yourself. This is what God going to do for you, Judah. Mm-hmm. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this. Uh huh. The master and the scholar the teacher and the student mm-hmm. out of the tabernacles of Jacob mm-hmm. and him that offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts he ain't going to accept it what's, the, what's that what uh, uh, Isaiah 48 1 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Jacob 48, calling one. himself calling himself Israel <laughs> right he said he cutting you you don't want that sacrifice that's right. right. And that man is number 14 and 15. Number 14, just write that down. Number mm-hmm. 14 and 15. Mm-hmm. That's that man, that yeah. nation. They're yeah. all yeah. them together. The yeah. teacher and the student. So yeah, one man. As one man. So as one now, man. Mm-hmm. So we, now we don't. Congregation. We walked through this whole class today to show you. Well, that. well, it, it's one more thing I want to tell them. Mm-hmm. Right. Because this is the thing. Cause we had one person come up in there and they say, well, what well, can you tell me any? Well, well, you know, the, 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 the white folk supposed to be in chains and all that other stuff. Hey, look here. Y'all people thinking about this thing carnally. When we teach, we tell y'all what these words mean. All right. And we tell y'all what these prophecies mean. Forget like what that scripture say. Uh, uh, what is it in uh, uh, Second Ezra nine? Say, don't care about, don't worry about how the wicked gonna be yes. killed. Worry about how the righteous gonna be saved. Yes, yeah. Let me show you. We getting ready to show you what's gonna happen with oh. uh, Edom in the latter days. Mm-hmm. Again, we ain't saying what color Edom is. Mm-hmm. All right. Is it First well, Kings three gonna, or Second? It's uh, I think it's Second Kings three. Right. We gonna read a little something. We are gonna read it kind of quick. We wanna read it quick, right? I wanna and add some too, Elder. After you, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. if it's anything, if it's any precepts that need to be uh, mm-hmm. added or whatever, we'll you'll see them at the bottom of the uh, screen. We just gonna tell you what it means, and then mm-hmm. you'll understand what's gonna happen. Yeah. All right. I don't think that's it. Let me check the first Kings. It, 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 it should I be. I thought a, it was. I thought it was Second Kings. It didn't. Second Kings three. It ain't Second Kings three. Ooh. Verse twenty. No, no, it's up here. Uh, right here. Was it the one here? Uh, verse nine. There it is. Yep, I was right on it. All right. Hmm. Let me see. Here. We're gonna go on ahead. We're gonna read this thing here. Y'all about to get some understanding about what's really going on here. Remember, before we go to this here, go to that thing that shows you that the Most High wrote the uh, end of the book at the oh. beginning. All right? Because this is a book of prophecy. Y'all got to understand. These people go up and then they look at this thing and they say, well, you know, that's something that happened thousands, thousands of years ago. You know, I mean, that, uh, what that got to do with now? He telling you a prophecy about what's going to happen, Right? And the people don't understand what it means because they reading it calm, right? But this thing is telling you something. <laughs> and if you humble yourself down, right, you'll be able to see what the Most High getting ready to do, right? 
with Edom. Y'all going to see it really clear. Because Edom plays quite a role in the last part of this thing. All right? Y'all don't understand how the most high work. When somebody gets you to hate somebody simply because of what race they are and all that other stuff, the most high can't he can't deal with you. He said your heart, your your uh your mind is is uh sealed with a hot iron. I think that thing is uh, uh Isaiah 34 and 16, something like that. Okay. But the let's, most high say let's take out the book of the Lord and read. Yeah. 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 You was, what you call it. Just yeah, now. that's what I want. Uh, you know, Isaiah what? And 34 and 16? Oh, yeah. So, what, Sick out the book. On her mate? Yeah. On her mate? Oh, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go and read this thing right quick so y'all can get why we saying what we saying. All right. No, no, no. This ain't it. It's, no, you said it was for the end time. No, no, no. You talk about 49 and uh, 6. 46 and 10, I think it is. 46 and 10. 46 and 10. You talking about yeah. the, the end. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 46 Spiritual and 10. 10. All right, that's it. Yeah. Y'all just pray for Uncle Steph. <laughs> Hopefully he'll get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm meditating it right now. <laughs> What's the sound? You sound worried about your boy? All right. <laughs> you need some heat. You need some heat over there. <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself together, man. Right. <laughs> Isaiah 46 and 10. Read that for me, Elder. Isaiah 46 and 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. The Most High, when he wrote this book, he telling you, he declaring the end of time from the beginning. All right. He's showing you prophecy. Right. He's showing what he's telling you is what's going to happen on the in the end. The latter day. That's what he's telling you. Read on. And and that and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done. So he telling you the stuff that you reading about that happened in the ancient times has not yet happened, meaning it's a prophecy. Y'all see that? Read saying my counsel shall stand whatever he says is going to happen is going to happen read and i will do all my pleasure everything is going to be according to how the most high want it to happen he don't mm -hmm. care about what somebody say i can go over here and see you know whenever Whenever the Israelites was, you know, killing up people and all that other stuff, that's how we're going to be killing them up in our day and all that, just bringing up all and making up all this foolish stuff. He said, you got to use my way in order to find out what I'm saying. Let me get back here for now. Yep, okay. Back up on that one. Same so, thing you said. And I sent him okay. and led my people out of Egypt and brought him up to the Mount of where I held him by me for a long for a long season, right? And told him many wondrous things mm -hmm. and showed him the secrets of times mm -hmm. and the end. Yes. And commanded him, saying, These words shalt thou declare, and these shalt thou hide. Y'all see that? Y'all mm -hmm. see that? The most high, he telling you. I'm telling you what's going to happen in the end with these stories I had these prophets to write. That's what he's telling you. Now, let's go over here to 2 Kings 3. We're going to start at 9. We're going to try and read it kind of quick because I know uh, it's getting late in the evening. Yeah, a little famished. Yeah. 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 9. So the king of Israel went mm -hmm. and the king of Judah. King of Judah. And the king of Edom. That's three kings. All right. So he's talking about in the end, these three going to come together. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. This a prophecy. Mm -hmm. Read. And they fetched a compass of mm -hmm. seven days journey. All right. So they, they got the, all of them got the same understanding. Y'all oh, see that? Seven. They seven ended up complete. got the seventh level. The seventh day is the completion, the understanding, full understanding of the doctrine. Y'all see that? Who don't see it? 
All right, keep going. And there was no water for the host. Y'all see mm -hmm. that? The people mm -hmm. ain't got no understanding. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. And for the cattle that followed them. All right, so the, 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 the leaders ain't got no understanding and mm -hmm. the lower people ain't got no understanding. Now these three kings then came together. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? So the this kings ain't are seen. lowercase. Oh, let me real quick. Yes. You see this? So these are prophets. These three different yes. prophets. It's a yes. prophet of Israel, a prophet of the carnal, and a prophet of that below earth Edom doctrine. That's what he's mm -hmm. talking about. There's three of them. Read on. Oh, sorry, Elder. No, no, you good. All praise the most high. And the king of Israel said, Allah's. The Lord have called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. All right. So y'all see that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, who don't understand what that's saying? Okay. It so it's, it's saying that these three kings going to come together, right? Mm -hmm. And they going to have an altercation with Moab. All right. Now understand when the most I talk about names, he talking about doctrines. Right. All right. That's right. Okay. Keep reading. So the, so the prophet of Israel, and the prophet of uh of of Judah, and the pro, uh, and the prophet of Edom is going to go against the doctrine of Moab. Y'all yes. see that? Right. Yes. And of Moab. Yeah, the doctor Moab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Jehoshaphat said that's Jerusalem. That's right. So now, when you start talking about Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, he got the doctrine. All right, he the righteous out of all of these people. He the righteous. Now, in the end, they gonna come together. But Jehoshaphat, he's the one that's got the doctrine. He represents the one that's got the doctrine because he was the righteous out of all of these. All right. Mm -hmm. Read on. Is there not here a prophet of the Lord that may that may inquire of the Lord by him? Mm -hmm. And one of the one of the kings one one of the king of Israel's servants answered him and said, "Here is Elisha, mm -hmm. the son of Shaphat, which poured water into the hands of Elijah." All right, mm -hmm. so he's telling you that's the prophet at the time. All right, so Elisha got the straight up doctrine. That's a specific mm -hmm. prophet that's going to come and go give the understanding to all three of those mm -hmm. kings. For the, the understanding and the doctrine of July. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Elijah. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Yeah. Read on. And Jehoshaphat said, the word of the Lord is with him. Mm -hmm. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. So all of these kings, now y'all know kings, right? These are leaders, all right? It's talking about, primarily it's talking about leaders of churches, all right? Just so y'all know, the kings, kings and mm -hmm. priests are used interchangeably in the Bible, all right? Kings and priests are used interchangeably. So he's saying all of these, these three leaders, leaders and it might be more than one of them. You know what I'm saying? He's just using them as an example. So he's talking about like, okay, well, this, this, these preachers who teaching Christianity, these teachers who teaching uh, Islam, these preachers that y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, read on. And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, mm -hmm. what have I to do with thee? Mm-hmm. Get thee to the prophets of thy father. So he he immediately goes to that prophet who claiming to be Israel. Y'all see that? He checking him immediately because mm -hmm. he got a different doctrine, right? This story is telling you know to talk about in the day. You know, uh, the, the 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 kings of Israel was following their leaders, but the kings in Judah kept the law. All right. So he's telling you the righteous prophet versus the carnal prophet. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, get thee to the prophets of thy father. 
-hmm. and to the prophets of thy mother. Mm -hmm. Go Prophet back Mary. there and let, let go back there and let Nathaniel <laughs> let Nathaniel <laughs> teach you what y'all need to do. <laughs> I don't even deal with y'all because y'all unrighteous. That's what right. he's saying, right? And the king of Israel said to him unto him, Nay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> For the right. Lord have called these three kings together uh -huh. to de deliver them into the hand of Moab. All right. So he's he 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 letting them know that that king who uh got that carnal uh way of thinking, uh -huh. he gonna end up relenting and he gonna wanna know what he need to do. So he's uh -huh. telling you some of them gonna convert. That's what he's telling you. All yes. right. Read on. And Elisha said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, surely were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, mm -hmm. I would not look toward thee nor see thee. Okay, so he's saying, Your doctrine all jacked up. <laughs> I got respect for this king here because he he he's spiritual. But that kind of foolishness that you got, I ain't got no respect for. And the only reason I'm even talking to you is out of respect because this King Jehoshaphat came with you. Mm -hmm. Right? Read on. Now bring me a minstrel. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when the minstrel played mm -hmm. that the hand of the Lord came upon him. All right. So he talking about the he he got uh like think of a minstrel somebody playing an instrument right so he's talking about somebody uh reading the bible mm -hmm. all right y'all y'all got that and then as he started reading he got the understanding of what he gonna teach y'all got that yes all right read on and he said thus said the lord make this valley full of ditches now remember we was talking about the moats the last mm -hmm. time we were talking about that uh, uh, sacrificial law. All right. So yes. he's talking about mm -hmm. digging ditches because what the ditches going to hold? What y'all think the ditches going to hold? What a moat water. hold? Water. 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 Okay, water. What's water? Water. water. Yes. What's water? The the water. The word. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Y'all y'all with me now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Reason 526. Mm -hmm. Right. So keep reading. For thus said the Lord, ye shall not see wind, mm -hmm. neither shall ye see rain, mm -hmm. yet the valley shall be filled with water, mm -hmm. that ye may drink, both ye and your cattle and your beasts. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? So the most, the, the, the Elijah, Elisha is telling them they're going to get some understanding. Y'all see it. that? Mm -hmm. All right, read. 18. But this and this is but a light thing in the sight of the Lord. He will deliver the Moabites also into your hand. So he's Doctor. saying, y'all going to win this debate. Y'all going to uh, mm -hmm. overcome the doctrine of Moab. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read on. And ye shall smite every fenced city and every choice city and shall fell, fell every good tree. Mm -hmm. and stop all wells of water mm -hmm. and mar every good piece of land with stones. So he's telling you, they're going to get in there and they're going to start putting this doctrine out. And the doctrine that he's giving you is going to overcome the doctrine of Moab. Now, listen mm -hmm. to me right quick. Just because they say Moab is the Chinese man, don't mean that that's who the Chinese man right, is. Right, right, right. All right. We use those titles on them, mm -hmm. on them uh, videos to make y'all understand that the doctrine that they're giving you is incorrect. Mm -hmm. And y'all can believe what you want. All right. But he talking about some people who don't believe. Moab is a people regardless of race who don't believe in his doctrine y'all got that part mm -hmm. yes all right so he's saying that he gonna convert them that's what all of them uh felling trees they dot they uh prophets ain't gonna prophets. 
Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all got that? They gonna fall. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, they gonna stop. They all they wells. That mean nobody ain't gonna want to hear that foolish doctrine they got no more. <laughs> right. Right. Y'all see that? And then they gonna uh, mar they they good a uh, piece of land with stones. Stones is the word. So he's mm-hmm. letting you know this doctrine is gonna overwhelm that right. other doctrine. Y'all got that? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Go to the next one. Verse 20. And it came to pass in the morning. The morning. The morning is the beginning of understanding. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that? When they, when they first start getting taught a lesson. Y'all see that? Is that in uh, right. First Corinthians that said that we eat the same spiritual meat? Is it First Corinthians 10 and 3 or Second Corinthians 10 and 3? It's 10. Yeah, First mm-hmm. Corinthians mm-hmm. 10. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it came to pass in the morning. Mm-hmm. When the meat offering was offered, okay, so that's when other people start preaching. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Behold, mm-hmm. there came water by mm-hmm. the way of Edom. By the way of who? By the way of Edom. By the way of who? Edom. Edom. Mm-hmm. Now the Most High giving you a prophecy mm-hmm. that Edom gonna get this doctrine. Oh, they gonna get it. They y'all gonna get see it. that, right? Yeah. I hope mm-hmm. y'all see it clear. Because mm-hmm. all of these racists out here talking bad about people, they don't speak for the most high. They just a man sitting up in that a yeah. uh, uh, spouting off at the mouth and they ain't got nothing to back it up. But the right. most right high down, saying uh, something else. Right down Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 2. He said the Gentiles going to get the light. That's what they he gonna said. It. He going to get it. And we know uh, 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 that Amos 9 and 11. That's this what that's talking about. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. Amos 9 and all that. The ones that are, oh. Ezekiel 47. Y'all get, yes. y'all get what's going on? Mm-hmm. Man, we going right here because he said it called by my name. <laughs> yeah, called by my name. Y'all better start it. figuring stuff out. You going you gonna to mess with a, some property that God is calling his name? Uh, right. Okay. Go now ahead, they, buddy. They're sitting up and now they gonna be called by their name because we gonna have them in captivity. Man, you foolish, oh, man. Please, you can't. You can If if a uh, if a a cop came out there to that place over there, that uh pharmacy where they preach every every week every Saturday, if a if one police officer came up and then said, "All oh, y'all get up against the wall," every man out there, just that one man. He put them up against the wall. They all going to turn around and submit. The mm-hmm. men ain't doing nothing but fronting. That's all. Most High said he bowed seven times. They sure did. To, eat, to, to Esau. They know the deal. They know exactly what time. They can march they that little outfit, they, but they better not. They right. better not <laughs> mess up any of that property. And That's they know right. it. They ain't they playing no not. games. But read that, Elder. <laughs> Amos 9 and 12, so I got skittles. Mm-hmm. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. The remnant of Edom. So some of them people from Edom. Now possess, possess means uh you can read about that in Deuteronomy chapter 4, yeah, verse 1, and Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse uh 1. It means when you possess somebody with educate the, them. Yeah. Yes. You it pulls out. You know how you be with somebody. Good people, yes. That good person gonna possess that person. Spirit gonna possess yes. that person. His doctrine gonna pull out and possess that person. The Most High's doctrine gonna spray it that way. That's how it's gonna happen. Possess. Yeah, it's also no, Matthew, Matthew eight. Uh, uh, whenever he went and told them them swine to go into the, he, he made them go into yes. them swine. So that's what he's talking about. He's talking about possessing mentally. Yes. All right. He ain't talking about chains and whips and all no, that no, other no, stuff. No. He ain't talking no. about that kind of possession. All no. right. Okay. It says that they may possess the remnant of Edom. All right. This is the same Edom we just read about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Read on. And of all the heathen, that's all of the rest of the people who don't know the doctrine. Okay. It ain't talking about a specific race. It's people who don't know the doctrine. That's what a heathen is. Read. 
which are called by my name. When he said called by his name, that means they're going to have the doctrine. His name yes. is his doctrine. That's yes. Revelation 19, 13. Name is the word of God, and the word of God is John 1 and 1 and 14. So that's, yeah. you know, that's talking about Christ's doctrine. Yes, that's his property. Yes. He said that the mind. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay. Called by his Good name. Luck. Finish it out. Saith the Lord that doeth this. <laughs> See that? He letting you know. He the one. He the one who going to make this prophecy that we reading right now come to pass. So that y'all know that. Amen. Go back to it. Mm -hmm. Start over again. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass in the morning. Mm -hmm. They started getting an understanding. That's what we gonna do. They gonna be called by his name. We gonna call them because we gonna teach them. Y'all see mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read. When the meat offering was offered, mm -hmm. that behold, there came water by the way of Edom. Edom is gonna get the doctrine. Y'all see that? Yes. And the Read. country was filled with water. They gonna get a lot of understanding. So the most I say, Edom going to be charged in the end. They're going to be in charge in the end. They're going to get it. And these people, the powers that be, have great ability to mm -hmm. spread information. It's coming. That's why he giving it to them. Yes. Because they going to... The most I said, I forget that scripture, Elder. What that scripture where the most I said, he had to give Ezekiel his... Three and six. If he had gave him? his doctrine he, to he, anybody... Ezekiel 3, three and 6. He, Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 6 Go ahead and pull that up <laughs> You got my back got up. <laughs> God say he Hey God ain't begging nobody Get out right. of the way say, Get out of the way Matter of fact I'll make sure you get moved out the way Come on you saw <laughs> Right Come on Exactly Come on you saw he's, he's let me break these branches off <laughs> yeah. Let me grab you on in. <laughs> there you that, go <laughs> Read that Not too many people of strange speech Mm -hmm. And of in hard language, mm -hmm. who's go, go, go up one, go up one, go up okay. one. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech. Y'all see that the prophets ain't sent to a, a, a people of strange speech. The people who we getting sent to, they prophets. Mm -hmm. Okay, they know there's a doctrine. Let right. me let me ask some elder right quick. Go ahead, go ahead. When you look in your Bible. Don't you find precepts in there? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that man gonna find the rest of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. He gonna find the rest yes. of them. Don't you have precepts that actually match up sometimes? Yes. He That's gonna right. find the rest of them. That's right. He got <laughs> Don't a you special can't. ability. That oh. man is the smartest. It's most I say that man's smarter than Daniel. Yes. Come on, bro. Do you know who you dealing with? What you think gonna happen when he get this understanding? Read it again, Elder. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech. So people know about the Bible, right? Read. Of an hard language. Mm-hmm. But to the house of Israel. See that? Mm -hmm. Read on. Not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou canst not understand, mm -hmm. surely had I sent th I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. You see that? that? He yeah. telling you, when them people mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. that understanding, they going to follow it to the letter. You got them yeah. people over there, those Jewish people. Now, they got a different doctrine than us. They got a similar doctrine to these corner camps. All right. But notice with the limited understanding that they have about that doctrine, those people follow that doctrine to the letter. Mm -hmm. That thing say, uh, a lot of them people say, well, look here, the, the, the Bible said you got to walk the church. So we got to walk the church. They got, they, they say, well, let me try and get me a house close to the synagogue because I'm going to have to walk to the synagogue. They, they literally the walk to the synagogue. They don't use the elevators on the synagogue. Them people follow that thing to the letter. 
I got That's three. What's gonna happen? Go ahead, up. Mm -hmm. I got three, yeah. I'm sorry. I know it's getting late, but go to the second Ezra chapter five and verse um uh, twenty six. God is not gullible. No, he's not. Two thirds of his people are gonna die. He said yes. that they're gonna die. God ain't playing. You read that from Elder. Uh, second, 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 I got five and twenty-six. Second Ezra chapter five verse twenty-six. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named one dove. Mm -hmm. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. Now one dove. He's talking about a doctrine. That's mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Now. And you can read about it in uh, Song of Solomon chapter 6. We had touched on it. That one sheep. Mm -hmm. That's what provided the one sheep. Okay. Who you think that is? Christ. Read on. Christ. Yes. Verse 27. Mm -hmm. And among all the multitudes of people that has gotten the one people. Israel. Israel mm -hmm. is the one that kills the old man. He yes. made a sacrifice. He yes. sacrificed the old person to him. Yes. Okay. That's the doctrine. That's the yeah. doctrine. Convert That's from the doctrine. honor to spiritual. That's correct. And unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gave a law that is approved of all. Of all. Mm -hmm. of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. The spiritual interpretation. Read. Mm -hmm. And now, O oh Lord, why hast thou given this one people over unto many? Read. And upon the one root has Christ. Thou... Christ yes. is the root, ain't it? Mm -hmm. the yes. Right? Here's yes. the root and the vine. Yes. He giving it to them. He giving that to them now. Christ. And upon one root has thou prepared others. That's some Gentiles. Read. And why has thou scattered thy only one people among many? Read. And they which did gain say thy promises. <laughs> Speak against. Read. <laughs> and believe not thy covenants. That sound like that sound like some wicked Israelites. <laughs> hey, bro, <I'll> to the <laughs> teeth. <laughs> Have trodden them down, <laughs> right? Not, the covenant been trodden down. Call yes. on the stand. Now. Yes, I'm sorry. Read on, El. If thou didst so much hate thy people, <laughs> stop. What he say? <laughs> if thou didst so hate, so much hate thy people, <laughs> he said he hate thy people. Yes. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you a story. <laughs> yes, shouldest thou punish them with thine own hands? <laughs> now, go to Second Ezra chapter one, verse twenty-four. They think God is gullible. Second okay, Ezra, you, second Ezra. Up, you, you, you there? Yeah, yeah, you there. Second Ezra, yep. Yeah, Second Ezra chapter one, verse twenty-four. We we read that before, but the viewers mm -hmm. got to hear this. Yeah, yeah. Second Ezra chapter one verse twenty four. What shall I do unto thee, O Jacob? Jacob, Jacob. Thou Judah. Mm -hmm. Thou Judah, wouldest not obey me? I will turn me to other nations, uh -huh. and unto those will I give my name, mm -hmm. that they may keep my statutes mm -hmm. 25 seeing ye have forsaken me read I will forsake you also read. when ye desire me to be gracious unto you read I shall have no mercy upon you. No Proverbs. mercy. Proverbs no chapter 8, mercy. verse 17. <laughs> Say Proverbs, Proverbs 8, 8, 17. Uh -huh. Yeah. Y'all see that? He telling them. 
He, we crying out, brother. We doing the same thing the rest of the prophet did. Yes. It's gonna be broke out. Don't brother. know. They don't, don't know. know. Don't know. Y'all don't know. The Most High don't care. Mm -mm. He, he want they, obedience. Yes. It's clear Read that right now. Now right. God, they think God is gullible. Read that. Proverbs <laughs> chapter eight, verse seventeen. I love them that love me. The ones who keep my commandments. Yes. If you love me, John 14, 15, mm -hmm. keep my commandments. So if you don't keep your commandments, guess what? You showing them automatically you hate them. Yes. Read. And those that seek me early. Before I destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> shall find me. All right. Okay. All praise to the most high. <laughs> All praise. Go back to... Uh, where we was, Elder. Yes. All right. Because y'all see now. The they thank God is gullible. Okay. You you all over there hugged up over him. Bow down to him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Come on over here, Esau. Come on over here, right. Moab. Come on over here. Come on over here, son. Come on, daughter. Come on. Y'all come on over here. I see yeah. that y'all calling out for me. Right. I right. been 65. Yeah. Isaiah 65. He said they're calling his name. He said, okay, I hear you. I'm getting rid of this crew right here. Yes. Yes, yes. Hosea 4 6. Hosea 4 and 6. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's right. I'll God is not. Most high. I'll pray. He's not gullible. He's showing us mercy. Get it. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. All praises to the Most High. That's the truth. These people don't mm -hmm. want to hear it, but that's what's going on. Yes. Be because thou hast rejected knowledge, the knowledge is the spiritual understanding. I will reject thee. You're not getting mm -hmm. the kingdom because you're following a different doctrine. Mm -hmm that thou shalt be no priest to me. He gonna mm -hmm. go and get another priest. As y'all seeing, we, we reading it now. What he gonna do? Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. So y'all didn't want to learn the, the spiritual law again. Mm -hmm. So he getting rid of you. He replacing you. Yes. I will also forget thy children. Everybody oh following that foolishness over there in them corner camps, the Bro. most high ain't gonna have no mercy on you. Mm -mm. You're not gonna have the doctrine. You're not his. You belong to whoever you follow. Yes. He's got a different doctrine. You got another daddy now. Yes. Uh -huh. All praises to the most high. All praises. Go back there, Elder. Yeah. That's a good precept there. Uh, yeah, I like that one. Elder Tobias. I mm. like that one. Mm -hmm. verse uh 20 <clears throat> and it came to pass in the morning mm -hmm. when the meat offering was offered mm -hmm. that behold there came water by the way of Edom Edom gonna get to understand y'all see that read and the country was filled with water y'all see that they gonna be filled with water once they get this thing they gonna turn it loose and they gonna start spreading this thing everywhere the mm -hmm. Israelites gonna be sitting on the sideline mm -hmm. looking simple and them people gonna be teaching that thing everywhere yes remember when the most has said he gonna move them to jealousy they gonna be mm -hmm. gnashing teeth yeah. Yep, 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 yep. listening to them people, man. I mean, we the ones who originated the diet. Y'all come up in here with this foolishness. They ain't number Christianity y'all teaching. Uh-huh. Them people gonna be teaching that thing. I mean, it's gonna be right. They yes. got all them scholars, man. You wait till them people get up and then they look and they say, yes. man, that thing makes sense. We got to mm -hmm. teach this to all our people because they gonna want their people to get the kingdom. Yes. The same thing what we was, yes. we've been trying to do. The same thing we've been trying. They're going to do the same thing. Yeah. We don't, El. Same thing. Mm -hmm. And when all the Moabites heard that the kings were come up to fight against them, mm -hmm. they gathered all that they were able to put on armor mm -hmm. and upward and stood in the border. So it's telling you, them people, they going to come and they 
whenever the doctrines start coming out, them people are going to come to defend with their doctrine. It ain't talking necessarily about Chinese people. I want y'all to know that. It's not talking about I China. know them guys got y'all thinking that, you know, Moab is a Chinaman and all that other stuff. That ain't how the most I get down. Okay? This is a, a, a nation of people, whomever it is, that don't believe in the spiritual doctrine. That's what he's talking about. All right? That's it. Read on. And they rose up early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Got that understanding. And the sun shone upon the water. Oh, look out. So that's that light coming. Y'all see that? When sun shine on water, it reflects light. Y'all got that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Read. And the Moabites saw the water on the other side as red, mm -hmm. as blood. All right. So you see that? <laughs> that red from earlier. That's right. Red so they, hairy garment. Yes. They're going to see that doctrine. Right? Read. And they said, this is blood. Yes. Yes, the doctrine. Yes. The kings are surely slain. See that? <laughs> Yeah, and they have smitten one another. Uh huh. <laughs> now, therefore, Moab to the spoil. Right. So they go come. They go think. They go think that they doctrine because they're gonna see who got the doctrine, mm -hmm. and they're gonna think that they doctrine is no good. <laughs> so we got them. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Cause what color is he? He red. 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 Y'all see that? Defile. Okay. <laughs> now, it's possible Moab ain't necessarily talking about uh somebody outside. That might be uh a lot of these corner people mm -hmm. who thinking they got the right doctrine. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Don't think Chinese. Don't because th they that's a lot. <laughs> They went and told the people, I know who all the players are today. Okay? Don't get caught up in that foolishness. <clears throat> all right? This is always about the righteous versus the wicked. Yes. Y'all got it? I got it. Read on. And when they came to camp, uh, and when they came to, to the camp of Israel, the Israelites rose up and smoked the Moabites. Y'all see that? <laughs> Read. <laughs> so that they fled before them. But they went forward smiting the Moabites even in their country. So they gonna start teaching that word and gonna start converting no. them. Leave it the last part. Even in their country, I mean they took their own sword and, and cut them with their own sword. Yes, that's correct. With their own doctrine. Mm -hmm. yes. Cut them with their own doctrine. Yes. Read. Dang. That just happened. <laughs> Y'all see that? <laughs> I told like, you. I read that again. That was his story. <laughs> Moab ain't necessarily Moab. Y'all seen the prophecy. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen it happen. Now y'all y'all reading about it. Y'all see that? <laughs> read on. More of them with their own country. That's right. <laughs> And they beat down the cities. Yes, that's right. Beat when, it, when, it, now. when it talk about smiting them, it's yes. uh, Psalms one forty one and five. Yes, smiting them with the word. He mm -hmm. smiting them with the word. That's what it, it ain't means. talking about actual physical war. No. That's not what it's talking. About. It's a war no. of doctrines. All right. Yes. Yep. On and on every good piece of land. Mm -hmm. Good piece of land. Good is God. So that and the land. Jeremiah 3 and 1. That lets you know the land is a doctrine. So you're talking about the spiritual doctrine. Mm -hmm. Cast every man his stone mm -hmm. and filled it. That's right. And they stopped all the wells of water. Mm -hmm. So that and doctrine, you remember how the most high say that the uh the, the, the clouds can uh, the, the, the the clouds can stop the water. Yes. Okay, the clouds is the prophets. If they stop teaching, they're gonna stop that water. Yeah, All right, the, the whales. This, yes, mm -hmm. but in this situation, right, they stopping the wells of their water yes. from getting out because the people converting. Y'all yeah. see that? Yeah. The whales are teachers. Whales yes. are also similar to for two minutes. Yes. Remember, Christ, Christ said, said he was a well. Yep. Yes, 
It's for the viewers, because yeah. I know this crew know, but the, for the viewers. Christ said he's a whale. If you give me some of that water, then I will give you some of this water out of this whale. Right. But out this whale will never go dry. Yes. Mm -hmm. And felled all the good trees. Go see that. He go all of them trees that's going to come up against the doctrine of the most high. They're going to fall. Mark now, 8, 24, man of trees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now remember, these three kings then came together. So they done made a chord. Y'all see that? They mm -hmm. friends. These people mm -hmm. gonna get friended up. Read. Only in Kehariseth left they the stones thereof. Mm -hmm. How be it the slingers went about it and smote it. You see that? So every place, ain't gonna be no place left undone. The most high doctrine gonna go everywhere. When it say the slingers, mm -hmm. they taking them precepts and they throwing mm -hmm. it at them. Yes. <laughs> yes. Throw, yes. Like King David, he, yes. he put it in the sling. Yes. He took one precept, one script, yes. and he mm -hmm. slung it at them. And that's what he's saying. He's slinging his, yeah, the word for of God. God for, for those who are carnal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for those who are carnal. We're, we're not talking about actually slinging stones. No. no. <laughs> or slinging. No, Thank they're, you. they're going to their Bible and they had yeah. a precept against what they were saying. That's what he's yes. saying. They All had... of the weapons of war in the Bible is talking about prophets teaching. All right. All of the weapons of the, 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 the archers, and, you know. The weapons of our warfare are not what? Carnal. Carnal. That's, Carnal. Correct. That's correct. Read on. And when the king of Moab saw that the battle was too sore for him, mm -hmm. <laughs> he took with him 700 men that drew swords. Mm -hmm. You see that? Break, they, that, that now, he going to go and he going to try, he going to try and get his mighty men, right? <laughs> to come and fight against the, 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 the righteous, righteous, right? Yeah. Read on. The swords are the tone. Yeah, yes, I guess they dark. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. To break through even unto the king of Edom. Yeah. But but they could not. When them yeah. folks start coming out there to them camps and start correcting they behind. It's coming. They gonna start running. They coming. Y'all see that? Now he's on every side. Prophecy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait till them people start coming out there. I'm talking about they're going to be coming out the woodwork to the point where them do. Now, these the top notch dudes. These people got the full understanding of that foolish doctrine, right? Y'all see that? These mighty mm -hmm. men. Mm -hmm. Them Gentiles going to start bringing them down. Yes, sir. Primarily. All they hate you stuff, they're going to shut that stuff down, man. Primarily. Eat them. You yes. see what he's saying, right? Yes. <laughs> they ain't gonna be able to defeat them. Y'all <laughs> see that? <laughs> Doctors, lawyers, right. all types of people. <laughs> all types of people. <laughs> Read on. <laughs> and then he took his eldest son mm -hmm. that should have regained in his stead. Hold right. on, go back, go back, go back mm -hmm. to 26. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead. Then he took his eldest son mm -hmm. that should have reigned in his stead mm -hmm. and offered him for a burnt offering upon the wall. <laughs> right, okay. And there you was know. a great indignation against Israel. And they departed from him and returned to their own land. So them people going to turn on that man. Yeah. yeah. Right, they going to turn on him. Right, and after they lose, they're gonna depart to their own land. Remember, the most high said they worm ain't gonna die. Mm -hmm. Y'all got that? They worm Isaiah, not gonna die. This Isaiah, is Isaiah. 6, 6, Isaiah 66 24. Okay, so he's still telling, gonna be Jacob. They still gonna be teaching that foolishness, mm -hmm. even after they get proved to be liars. That's what's mm -hmm. happening. Y'all seeing the beginning stages of it now. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? So, and you look at this talking about his eldest son that should have reigned in his stead. 
Y'all know what they're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. We talked about that old little horn, then. Yeah, little horn, mm -hmm. yeah, little horn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all starting to get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all starting to see what's happening, right? <laughs> so they took, they put him up there to get right. He gonna get dusted <laughs> get up. Yeah, he gonna get, right. he gonna get, he gonna get dusted up. Read on. That's the last one. That's the last one. Okay, so now y'all see the Most High. He already then told you what's going to happen. Them people don't know. They just now finding out that the men was lying. Right? Because mm -hmm. when the when when uh, we went and used they sword mm -hmm. about that uh, Barbary pirate, them people for the first time saw definitive proof that they was lying. Because mm -hmm. yeah. they said only the Israelites went into slavery on yes. ships. I've heard them say, yeah, he said they're going to go into slavery on ships, not trains. Y'all have heard that before? So I said so. The, no, that, that, no, that was somebody had a, a, made a mistake. Okay. But uh, you've heard them say, the most high said, they was going to go into slavery on ships, not trains. Mm -hmm. They want to make the distinction to say he ain't talking about them people who uh, got killed by Hitler and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that ever happened to them. The only people that went into slavery on ships were the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right. So now the people just saw that ain't true. Right. So now they see, now you see that the most high has other prophecies that he say is going to happen. So now everybody's going to have the opportunity to sit back and watch as this stuff start coming to pass. All right. The people who go and learn what the spiritual doctrine is, they gonna be redeemed. All of you people who continue to follow these lying racists, right? The most high is going to destroy you. So I don't know who else got something else. Uh, that's what I wanted to make sure that the people got regarding uh what we dealing with here now uh -huh. the 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 battle has started all right the most high has made the determination that it's over uh -huh. he making sure these people go and they doggone uh get their stuff together <laughs> to tear this thing up you seeing right now banks failing and all this other kind of stuff these people done lost faith and this thing getting ready to go sideways. When this thing start going sideways, them same people that they've been talking about all the wicked and all that, calling people the devil, them same people, they're going to come back and they're going to learn the doctrine. And what you're going to see is you're going to see a bunch of people filled with hate going to end up dying without getting redeemed because they let that hate eat them alive all right and the people that they held in derision gonna figure out all they got to do is love their brother and they're gonna put every effort they got toward repenting and them people gonna be redeemed that's what the most high talking about when he talking about breaking them branches off all right they grabbed the man. They the bro grabbed them up. Chapter 11. In. That's right. Romans chapter 11. Yeah. He going to graft those people in. They're going to be yes. sitting there looking simple. Mm -hmm. I thought we was the Israelites. I thought, well, you know, well, go over there and stand in that line over there. I'll get to you in a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be with you directly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made you to stand over here in this line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you, yeah. Well, they're sitting over there watching Biff and uh, Biff and uh, Ed, uh, Edgar and Elliot, all of them dudes. Well, hey, I, I just went, you know, 
<laughs> did what I had to do, you know. I, right. I couldn't love. I couldn't hate nobody. Right. Hey, <laughs> so I'm trying to say it. I'm trying to say it. I love that SOB. I love that SOB. That boy right there sharp, boy. I tell you. His <laughs> bubble gonna be at the house drinking drink from from pomegranate wine. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like some pomegranate wine, brother? Yeah. <laughs> I got plenty. It's just so it's just a bounty. It's just a bountiful. <laughs> hey, so, the most high is something else. You know, some people ball in this life. Yes, they go to ball in the afterlife. Yeah, right. well, they gonna figure Israel it out. <laughs> Should have talked talk them. So. And just so y'all know, right, when the Most High is talking about Israel, he not talking about a race of people. Mm -mm. Okay? He talking about a spiritual nation. He's a spirit. You got to worship him in spirit and in truth. If you get the spiritual understanding, you are Israel. If you want to know where it says that at, all you got to do is go to Exodus 1 and it start talking about that Pharaoh said, how is it that the people of the children of Israel is more and mightier than we? You will see in Genesis 47 when Joseph brings Israel to Egypt. Israel has them herds and all of them uh, cattle. Mm -hmm. People. Mm -hmm. Y'all know we just read it that the, the, the flocks of my pastor are men. That's, that's uh, uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 34, 31. Mm -hmm. So it's talking about he brought all them people from the land of Canaan into oh, Egypt with him. But in Exodus 1, the Most High made Moses write that they call, he calling them the children of Israel. Yes, you did. Moses called them the children of Israel. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so who can't figure that out? Yes, all of if you go to Deuteronomy 28, right, it starts telling you about all of the blessings first and then the curses, right? Then you get to Deuteronomy 29 and the most high telling you who the children of Israel he talking about in Deuteronomy 28. Let's just get that one so that we can show them. All right, cause I I, I know it's late. This, this, hopefully this be the last one here. Then everybody will be able to go. <laughs> well, he goes home. to Deuteronomy one and one. That's where he go. He go to Deuteronomy one and one. That's where oh. they go. Deut Deuteronomy oh. one and one. That's where he goes. That's it. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side of Jordan, mm -hmm. in the wilderness, in the plain, over against the Red Sea, mm -hmm. between Paran Tof and Tophel and Laban and Hazaroth and Dizab. Diz Diz mm -hmm. Diz so now he's letting you know who he talking to. These are the words that he told them people. In Deuteronomy 28, he tell you all of the stuff that's going to happen to them people, right? Go to Deuteronomy 29 so you know who he talking about, the mm -hmm. children of Israel. So you know who the children of Israel are, all right? Come on down a little bit. No, no, no. It's just, uh, it's, uh, like six or seven somewhere around about that when he started oh, talking about who out there mm -hmm. the captains and all of them. oh you talking about the captains and everything yeah, yeah. oh okay uh, like seven six or seven something like that hold on uh 29 11. yeah 11. okay start at 10. yeah 10 10 that's that's the one i want 10. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see who the children of Israel that Moses was talking about, mm -hmm. who took this oath. Deuteronomy 29 and 10. Ye yeah. stand this day, all of you before the Lord your God, mm -hmm. your captains of your tribes. Yes. Your elders. Mm hmm and your officers mm -hmm. with all the men of Israel. Next verse. Your little ones, mm -hmm. your wives, mm -hmm. and the stranger. And the strangers. He including them because we yes. read in Deuteronomy 1 and 1. He said this who he told the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. He calling everybody. He listing the children of Israel. Read Everyone. on. And thy stranger that is mm -hmm. in thy camp mm -hmm. from the hewer of thy wood. That's a teacher. They know what wood Just is. like he had um, Hiram uh, teaching them people. Yes. That's what he doing with these people right here. Yes. Read. Unto the drawer of thy water. Draw of water. That's the person who got the understanding. Yes. The draw of water. That's a teacher. Read. That thou shouldest enter into covenant. Mm-hmm. That's the with doctrine. With the Lord thy God. Mm-hmm. And into his oath. So this all of them people that came out of Egypt to include the mixed multitude. He calling them the children of Israel. That's what it said in uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Mm -hmm. So he's saying all them people going to go through the same tr uh, uh, curses. Y'all see yes. that? Just like we yep. just proved it. Same curses. We talked about them Barbary pirates. We don't mm -hmm. care what y'all think. Y'all want to listen to them, man? Go ahead and die. Mm -hmm. The men don't know what they're talking about. They don't know. Now, you can either listen to them or you can listen to your father, the most high God who told this man to write this thing. That's right. Read. <clears throat> and unto this oath, which the Lord thy God maketh with thee this day. With all them people standing out there to include them strangers. The strangers. Read. That there is. That there is that he may establish thee today for a people unto himself. Now, he just said all them people who standing out there his, are his people. His he people. just said it. He, he said just it. told you. All yes. of them people mm -hmm. he mentioned are his people. I know y'all see that. This yeah, ain't man. no lie. This ain't no, we ain't got pulling no rabbit out no hat, man. This is what the most high wrote. When that day come, trust me, if they be in no people way, they're going to run them off. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm telling you. You don't so, want it. I get it. That's what they're going right. to say. You don't want it. I get it. That's right. So y'all can sit there and listen to these men that come with all of these slick talks. Now you see them, they're trying to cleave over here. Say, well, we got the spiritual doctrine now and we ready to start teaching but the people are going to say, well, wait a minute. Y'all just got the spiritual doctrine. Y'all been teaching the spiritual doctrine for months. Thought you had it for 20 years. Now, here he is. <laughs> he got 20 years of carnal experience, but he want the job as the spiritual prophet. Look here, bro. I'm looking at your resume here. <laughs> and uh, it's looking a bit suspect. <laughs> Boy, you're missing that sheep skin. Right. <laughs> so y'all go understand when them people start trying to find out what the doctrine is, they come into you. The men them burn too many bridges with all of that foul stuff that they've been saying. Mm hmm so they can't come back now and say, I'm the righteous prophet. Listen to me. They can't do that. Well, they're going right. to find out. They, they're going to find out how many people that Solomon converted. Yes. That the Bible say they're going to find out how many people that. Oh, it's so many people. It's, yes. I, it's David. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. brother. It's been sealed. I'm telling yes. you straight up. It's sealed. Y'all stop done. playing around. Stop Everything playing around. This, this, the rest is grace and mercy. It's That's sealed. Right. I'm telling you. That's we'll right. pick it up next, next, next Sunday. But That's I want right. to, uh, uh, Prophetess Patricia, 
this week and I'll call you personal uh, prophets. All oh, praise. So I guess yeah. I'm going to cut everybody off. I know we're late, but I wanted to show everybody who Edom was. It's, Edom is not the white man. That was the purpose of this class. So I hope yes. everybody learned that is a yes. doctrine. I hope you 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 expound your knowledge. You got out that carnal thought of Esau being the white man. Yes. And don't let nobody trick you and lie to you again without showing you two or three precepts of what Edom is. So yes. I hope you learn from this class and I hope you grow from this class and I hope it starts to bring down that stronghold and bring down that racist mindset that was planted, that racist seed that was planted inside your mind. Yes, that's right. I'm crazy. <laughs>